even though even though I'm seeing her sick. You know, you know what? It's you. People. You just got sick again. Y'all That's the bad. reason why I'm sick. I forgot my water. Y'all. Man. I'm sick of y'all. Nah. That's what's going on. That's exactly literally what's going on. Nah. Got to be. You know, I forgot you know, my water you know bottle. To, you know what to cure? You know what to cure? I'm already, I'm already getting ready. Yeah, because I forgot my uh, I forgot my water, and I know I'm going to be thirsty as hell in about <laughs> 20 minutes. So it's like, let me let me just grab it right now. <laughs> So right. mic sounds crisp today. And I was just, yeah. I was wondering, like he it might and he was way over there. Like yeah, it's uh, the so it's a it's a wireless. Yeah, it's a lab, mic. yeah. Yeah. It's a road. It's tight. Yeah, it's a road mic. Road lavalier wireless go to clean. Okay, yeah. okay. You just put me up on some because I ain't on no mic right now today. On a day. Oh, I was gonna ask you about that. Where's your mic at, yo? Well, I ain't using it tonight. Cause <laughs> It's been something wrong with the wiring, man. And then I was going, you know, I, I, I said, I said, you know what? I'm just going to go raw tonight and then and leave it at that. Le, le, and le, leave it at that because I'm sick anyway. So since I'm sick anyway, mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what? Don't need nobody that needs, my voice needs to be even more raspier, you know, than normal, you know, nothing like mm-hmm. that. But I might have to plug it up to coach on here now. So shit, you know, he going to get the yelling. I might have to plug the mic up then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Lamont likes to yell. I just, I just, I just feel like he is. Hold on one second, y'all. If he's not yelling, I feel, I feel a little awkward. Something's off. Gotta have something to say. Loud. <laughs> That's something to say loud. I do have something to say. I bet you too, man. I can Colin. hear you, Stephen A. Smith, in the background. By the way, I'm just saying that. And Colin, let's be clear. We don't we yeah. don't do participation trophy stuff over here, baby. That's your generation. We don't do that. You're right. We don't, I'm not we, talking we, about we any participation trophies. We, 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 don't, we don't do that. The other guy ain't talking about participation trophies. I think that's how I got I think that's how I got the whole situation came down on me, but you know what? We're gonna get into all that. First of all, we, 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 we say what's up, Z people out here. Hey, uh actual random. That's a new person. Shout out to actual random. Candace, what man? What the hell you been at? You ain't, I ain't seen you all here in a little minute, or maybe I did and just went paying attention. Sean Terrence, what's going on, baby? Dice, what it what it do? Well, I never get it. Anita Station stomp out. Some of these names just be so weird, and, I, and it's like y'all tell me, and I, I forget every time. Certified Chaos, what's going on? Rodney Dinkins. Man, riding right, them sick, man. Shit. You see, you see what these folks done did to me and drove me to get sick. They they talk so crazy. Now I'm so sick of them. I'm so damn sick of them. I'm actually sick now. This is unreal. I don't understand what's going on. So I'm with Colin. They ain't coach down there. I'm, I'm gonna get ass too, but it's all right. Kyle, what's going on? <laughs> NLS, what it do? What it do? What it do? All right, y'all. So check this out. We're going to hop right into this thing. <laughs> 698. 698. Mm. 698. Okay, give me y'all perspective on that 698. It looked good. Define I've good. Never seen look this, I've never seen I never, her look this. I've never seen her look this. Sorry, sorry, Lamar. No, you about to say what I was going to say. i never seen her look that good. Like, she looked fantastic, and she's going to be a problem. She's going to be a problem. Now, mind you, she did that Arkansas, not in altitude. She did that at sea level at a track that was certified by the IAAF. Nothing fancy smancy about it. She did it. 698 means, and I'm going to say it, she's the number one sprinter in the United States on the professional side. Mm, damn, you just gonna do that? You just gonna uh, just pop out, just come out firing, just like that? Like we ain't uh, even five minutes to the show. You already just that doesn't surprise me, man. Just, just you say that. The muscle just. Ca, ca, Listen, ca, ca, ca. I'm drink. Uh, I'm drinking my Anson overdo it juice right now. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. But she, but, but she looked good, man. She looked good. <laughs> Yeah, eh? Colin. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Um, 
Yeah, great, great race from her. Uh, I think it's it, like I think while Ray doesn't believe in indoor track, um, which I'm we'll talking about later, uh, I still like I think it's important to hit these numbers. Like it's important to PR. Like setting personal best is important, if not physically, mentally, 100. percent Like we talk about this in track and field. Um, that track and field is like 90 percent mental, and the rest is in your head. Like, so it's a, it's a mental game. Uh, and so to be able to have this, this early on is like, it's important. Uh, and I think that, you know, having it, like being able to be like, okay, I've ran incredibly fast already. Cause there's going to be, there's going to be slumps in the season. There's slumps for everyone, whether it's in a track meet or it's in practice, there are going to be times where, you know, you're, you just, you may not be motivated. So I think having something like this to reflect back on and like, okay, I've, I've done this before is, is a good thing. So I, I, I don't know if I, if I'd say she's the favorite sprinter. Well, I guess if you're, are you talking about just the hundred or are you just saying in all sprints um, coach? That's a good um, point. In the United States, she's the best sprinter in the hundred. In the hundred. In the, okay. United, in the United States. Gotcha. Based on, uh, based on who, based on who's been proving what she's the best. Yeah. I mean, I guess after that, I can't really go against it. I'd say, like, would she be the best 100 and 200 runner in the U.S.? Like, over no, the best sprinter no, to include no. 200 meter runners? Probably not. Nah, I'm, in the 100, nah, I'm I, I'd probably agree. Yeah, strictly 100. I'm not talking about the 200. No, 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 okay. Before, before we answer, you know, I just got a question. I got a question. Because, you know, I'm sick, so I can't, you know, I can't think real good. I'm going to try, though. Who, who was the who was the three who, who was three last year at USA's in the hundred meter dash? Uh, top, top three: Melissa, Lewis. Terry, and Aaliyah. Was Aaliyah yeah. third? Okay. Yeah. Who was fourth? Okay. Okay. So uh, Aaliyah, Aaliyah was third, right? Who was fourth? I, 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 I don't well, remember. Fourth don't, don't matter. Fourth don't matter. Fourth don't matter. But I, I'm gonna say Ouch. this: I can't let coach. Ouch. I can't let coach do that. Okay. I'm gonna say this: I can't let coach do that. That is very unfair and very disrespectful, okay? Why? Because this is what I be talking about. This is exactly what I be talking about. Y'all get so hyped up over this shit that don't even matter. So because she ran fast, but she did, she ran blazingly fast and was beautiful. Because she ran fast in the 60, that automatically makes her the number 100 meter runner right now? I don't understand that math, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, right, right. Aren't go you ahead. saying got to... Or just saying, guy who said Mary Beth was going to make the hundred meter team after the indoor. I did. Now hold on, though. Hold on, though. Damn. Make the hundred meter team and saying somebody's <laughs> the fastest. Hold on. Make the hundred meter team and saying somebody's the fastest hundred meter sprinter uh, right now based on their sixty. Yo, How are you it sounds like yo. You know what it sounds? It sounds like someone I'm, didn't I'm, finish I'm, their rep. I'm going to catch coach. I'm going to catch coach. Like some because base coach, it makes sense because you're sixty and you're hundred when you was running never matched up. So it makes sense for you to think that because somebody ran a fast 60, they should automatically, you know, be a fast 100 meter runner. So I get that. But considering the fact that somebody went 6'9 and that and they're the number 100 meter runner, that would be asinine to think because I can remember people like Trail Kimmins went extremely fast. Was he a fast 100 meter runner? Nope. I remember people like Ivory Williams went extremely fast in the 60. 100 meter runner, top? Nope. So your theory of because she went a fast 60, that makes her the number 100 meter runner ever? But I didn't say I'm sorry, not ever. Makes it a number one hundred meter runner right now is ridiculous. <laughs> like literally, like you're basing their the hundred meter, <clears throat> the best hundred meter runner off of a sixty. That's like saying I'm think... basing the best three point shooter off of their free throws. No, when we try to be <laughs> three pointers, then show me you the best three point shooter. I don't give a damn about your free throws. When it's time to line up in the hundred, then you show me you the best hundred meter runner. But I'm not gonna just say you the best hundred meter runner because you ran a, a fast sixty. That's asinine as hell. And I'm sick, right. but I ain't that damn sick. That's right. stupid, Coach. Right, right, right. Ray, right. hold on, hold on. I'm going to let you get this in because I want you to finish it off. I know where you're going with this. Ray, I could confidently say that because of who's training her. Here we go again. Sorry. You know what? You Sorry. Know what? I could confidently Sorry. say that the Cowboys should have won because of their GM. I can come oh and say that this could have happened no. because oh. we were training who? I can that, come and say, don't. hold on, hold There's on, watch no this. I can come no and say Tyson Gay should have won Olympic medal because of who was training him, but he didn't. So that, that shit don't matter. Like, I can confidently sir, say it because sir, you also sir. said the same thing about Abby. You can confidently say she was going to get a medal, which I also said she was going to get a medal at, at, at Worlds. But you confidently said she could do it because sir. of her coaching. 
I'm not yeah. saying the coaching can't, but what I'm saying is this right here. You're running yeah. behind another bus now. Well, I believe yeah. in the coaching. Well, okay, well, just because she coaching, that don't mean she can't get injured, don't mean she sure. can't get hurt. None of that, none of those factors. You're just going to so, say oh, right on, now, on, she's on, the best 100 meter run. Uh, okay, Ray, you're not going to move the goalposts like you normally do. First and foremost, uh, first, 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 no, hold, right, hold, first, first and foremost, right? You're taking somebody right, hold, hold on, 60 hold on, meters hold on, saying they're the hold best on, hold meter on, runner. Hold on, hold on, because I'm, I'm going to debunk everything you just said. You told about Tyson Gay. Tyson Gay had a bad birthday, okay? Bottom line, no one was beating both. You sitting here talking about what Tyson should have done, knowing that he was running against the freaking alien, <laughs> okay? That's not even a fair comparison, okay? That's not even right. You should, we should just throw out everything from 08 to 2017 because it's not even fair to anybody, okay? It's not even fair to anybody. Now, going back, going, going back to what I'm saying, the only reason why I'm saying that she's the best 100-meter runner in the United States right now Based on the fact that she said that she looks good, I can't even hear you sound right. Okay, you sound okay. Right? How you going to no, say no. that? <laughs> right, 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 we're, right. We're, we're right. Let, let, all right, all right. Let me, all right, right. Let me ask you: Who's gonna? Who you? Who do you think? Who do you think? Now, who you know? Who do you think is going to beat her at USA? In a hundred meter dash. Yeah, yeah. I, coach, it's Let's January. Say, it's I, January. It have an answer. Ask doesn't, me in March. Ask me in March. Matter. It's January. I have an answer. You got an answer because it's not like the girl ran it's six January. eight. It, it's not like the girl ran six nine and her PB's eleven. Look, no, the girls ran ten eight. Way. Will she make top three? <clears throat> That's a different question. You can ask. Yes. That. You can say, Ray, at this rate, do you think she'll make top three? Hell yeah. But for you to sit here and say at this right now she's number, you don't know what the other girls doing. <laughs> you, you like you just gonna throw it out there like she ain't nobody okay. else training. Ain't nobody doing nothing. It's just okay. yep. She ready. She top hundred meters runner right now. Oh, okay. one run. Okay. Answer you got. I think it's important before we declare someone as the best 100 meter runner that they run 100. But, but Lamont, mm -hmm. I will say she she looks like a very very strong candidate for the hundred because of what she just did. I I don't I don't. I don't agree. Well, I agree with Ray as far as that's concerned, but I don't agree with Ray feeling like she doesn't mean anything right now. I feel like she's really asserted herself. And I really feel like people are thinking about her. And I think that that makes her more of a factor because I don't think the other women in the sprints are like, well, it's just 60. I don't care because Aaliyah has, isn't known as only being a 60 meter runner. If she's running that fast in a 60 though, we know she's going to be a problem in the hundred because right. she's not, she's not, she's not a runner that really relies on her 60. So, but if her 60 is good and the way she moved through the 60, <laughs> she look good. Okay, I, I'm not, she, she, she look good. I think, I think, I think great. it's good that she's showing what she can do right now. And, She's at she's at an advantage right now because people it would be silly for this other sprinters to not be aware that she's out there right now. Like she's coming, yo. I, I don't think she ever not been there to be coming. If anything, nah, but she really she's really there now. Like she, she's always been mm -hmm. in the vicinity. Like she's always been in the realm. Like we know mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. I mean, she looks like a player now. She looks like a player now. And yeah, it's based off of what we've seen in the sixty. But I'm saying like this is sometimes in the sixty there's certain things you can't ignore. That's why I like the people certain people do the sixty. If a lot of our stars did the sixty in the first place, we'd be able to have an idea of what they're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe they do better. We don't know. But Aaliyah usually sets her season up pretty well. She always runs indoors and she's usually consistent. So she's running this fast now. We know she can be consistent. She was she's, running ten eight. This is her typical route. She always does indoors, yo. So. Hey, well, let's, hey, go and, let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and hop right into the next topic, then, which is what Colin wanted me to get into: indoor and how much I don't like it. Can she hold it? Here's the problem I have, people. That six ninety eight <laughs> looks beautiful. Okay, that looked amazing. That looked outstanding. So you know what I want to know what what it did to me? I got scared. You know why I got scared? Because I'm like, shit. History has shown that when we get people doing this, when we need them, they don't show up. So now I 
I'm getting scared. Why am I getting scared? Because I'm actually an American, Nigerian athlete, whatever, you know, I feel like it's us versus Jamaica and everybody else when it comes time for the medal count. A team is a team, all right? That's what it is. For me, it's like, what's the what's the grand scheme? All right, World Championship, Olympic Games, Gill the podium. Okay, cool. The reason why I get scared is because I sit back, I'm like, God damn, you hitting that fast right now. Shit, can you can can you do that in August? That same time, can you duplicate what you just gave me in January? Because what I can sit here and say, I'll play y'all game if it's 100. If I take you outside right now and I move the wall and you get that same run you just gave me, what 100 meter time are you going to give me now? You just can't do it. It's 698. So what pace are you on right now in January? So that'd be my worry. Is like, okay, well, if you can hit this now, why not plan it better to hit this shit then? Because what I've been seeing for the, forever is, Y'all do this now, and when you need it, you can't find it. Ray, you do understand since 2007, Jamaica has ran the women's 100. And so it doesn't matter what happened. They, they ran it. Listen, li- listen, they, they, listen Veronica, mm-hmm. Shelly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And the only way, the only, and the only reason why Tori Bowie won it because Shelly was pregnant, and in 09. You mean, you mean got silver? And Shelly and Shelly came off a damn injury, and Shelly still medal, if I'm not mistaken. So you mean Tori, Tori got silver. So no, 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 Tori, no, Tori, Tori Bowie won the hundred meters, and uh, oh, yeah, she won that. Champ. Yeah, yeah, she mm. won the hundred meters. Champ. But she, right, world champ, but Shelly wasn't there. So as long as the three headed monster is still humming and they still training, they still looking good, and they still in their top physical form, doesn't matter. So you saying it so you saying it don't matter what they do, they're not gonna beat them three no matter what. Whether they run no. in though or don't run in though, they ain't gonna beat them three no matter what. You want me to put in the subtitles? <laughs> they're not <laughs> beating them. Okay. Okay, so great. You, you I mean, you can't see, say that because then we can't debate. You can't say that. You can't joke. You, you can't have... say that because it, 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 it literally eliminates my whole endo <laughs> debate. No. I know that they can't beat them regardless, but that's not my point. My point is, at least you have a, a, a strong I, I, I disagree chance. with that. I think you I have a strong fighting that. chance if you did. I just, that, that just, look, I'm going to let y'all get the flow. I want, I want y'all to speak on the guy I spoke on. But I want to put this out there. My message when I was talking about indoor versus outdoor, it really was only for the people who have a shot at getting a gold medal or silver or bronze. That message went for everybody. It went for everybody at run track. All right? I think some people took it that way. Like, nah, I'm not talking to everybody. Like, some of y'all need to run whatever you can to run whenever you can to get wherever you can. But people like Aaliyah Hub, I look at her to where it's like, you got a, a great shot of taking down at least one of the heads or the three heads. You ain't going to take down three of them. But you got a shot of t- taking down one of them. It, it's a smart, lane. Like, not smarter, but just, I just want you to do that shit when it matters. Like, not now. Yeah. I'm just scared. Like, because now when we need to do it, them three headed monsters are gonna come back out there again, and once again, we in the back. Did, did Elaine go back to Frano? You know what? They are keeping that information sealed tight, and I'm, okay. I'm getting the cryptic answers even from Cause, them. Cause I'm gonna I'm 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 be like, I'm gonna pull an answer. You know who? You know who can break up the sweep? Dina. Dina. We're gonna get it. Yeah, we'll get in that. We'll get in she's that. not the only. She's not the only one. Look at they're not sweeping again this year, yo. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. If if they don't, and, if they and, if they and, don't, I think Dean is gonna be the one that's gonna break up this week. She very strong chance it could be her. Yeah, but but you're making even even, to the even as we're talking about right. Oh, that's right. Even as we're talking about um, the three headed monster. Two of the three-headed monster have done some indoors as well. This is They've great. Run. Elaine Thompson Ron so, has done it every single year. She's raced the sixty in the every yeah. Year. She every year. Did, yeah. Every year. I'm glad so y'all brought that up too. I'm glad y'all brought that up. I'm glad y'all, I was ready for Colin to bring that up because I knew Colin was gonna bring that up. I knew he did. I was ready for that. Yes. I, I need. I, I need had, Colin. I, I, I had it back. See. I need Colin to look up the difference. Sixty. There's a difference between seven ten. Running Jeez. through indoor and running indoor. There's a difference with that. There's a complete difference. Huh? Right. Watch. There's a difference between running through indoor and running indoor. To me, okay. running through indoor is I ain't really did nothing. I'm just gonna spike up. Bomb 715. 
running in indoor is 698. You're snapping. <laughs> like you're turning it over right now. She That's might snap. be running through though. Power. She That's might be turnover. she might be running through she might, she might be, be running, running through though. A body just maybe So clicking. if you're running through at 698, that means you're going to be 6 7 ready? That no. means that she could be a real problem, Doug. Uh, I don't feel like she'd be like, well, I'm going to focus on indoors this year. I think she just do what she does. Not like, man. Not just like, oh, I'm going to focus on indoors. I'm going to focus on the first meet in January. You think, that, like, that. you think she's like, you know what? When they're, you know what time I want to pop off? The first meet in January. Ain't nobody says that. How do nobody you know? says that. How do you know? How do you know? Do I know? Because she's a professional track athlete. That's yeah, that wouldn't track athlete. She wouldn't be here track athlete. if she was doing that. That wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, you said, <laughs> I didn't even hear what you said. He said, he said what's a professional track for an athlete? Aaliyah Hobbs. What's a, <laughs> Aaliyah Hobbs. Aaliyah Hobbs. Aaliyah Hobbs. I know it when yeah, I see it. No, Aaliyah man. Hobbs. People are saying her name right now, dog. People are saying her name right now. This is why indoors is worth it sometimes, yo. Worth it's it. Worth it. Worth, worth it. She's worth so it sweet, too. Even as we're talking about pros, right? In general, it's a popularity contest. Shoe contracts are based off popularity contests. If she's building a buzz and she, her name is becoming more prominent in the track world, her, her value's raised now off of a 60. Her value definitely has skyrocketed. It definitely yeah. has skyrocketed now. But again, that's that double-edged sword. It don't skyrocket it, but the end result is still going to be what it's going to be. What are you going to do when it's time to make the team? Well, she's already done. So for her, it's different because she's already she's already slain that 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 greatest monster you got to slay, which is what they are, what the contract say. You got to make a team. I did that. So now, you know what I'm saying? Her 698 to me it is impressive because she's a pro, but also because you've already you became this pro now. I don't really. This is just rate talking. I don't care to see you run 698. I don't. I care to see you on the podium. This, this don't excite me. Like, oh, okay, that's cute. That's fast, but we're in January. I want you. That on the doesn't excite you, though. No. That run, that run it, didn't listen, excite you. Listen, I'm a Cowboys you, fan. And this is I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm, this is what I'm used to. I'm used to the same shit every year. I know. Season and, and and the season look good, but then when it comes time for championship, we ain't there. That's 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 uh, American training. We the same <laughs> way. We look good <laughs> in the season, and then come time for the championship, we fly. Right. Listen, I I, I do want to see her line up with some some better competition, but uh, the, uh, there's sometimes when I just see a run and I'm like, yeah, that was one of those, Doug. Yeah, that was that like was, a, yeah, yeah, that was a yeah run. It's that's a ten, mm-hmm. that's a ten six that's a ten six run. That's a ten six start. Ten six start Dang. all day long, and that's what worries me. <laughs> Dang. Uh, that excites me, yo. Uh, she, hey, listen, she, man. She, she's not gonna do nothing crazy. She ain't gonna be running a crazy amount of indoors, yo. She she knows where she's at, and hey, she, she might do a couple more races for fun. Listen, ain't nobody sitting out there, down there in Baton Rouge on my year. We're gonna get peaked up for indoors. Dennis Shaver, we we have to give Devin Shaver more credit than we're man, giving. Coach him. Shaver, man, look, I'm just doing my job, sir. Me and Coach Shaver know how we are. <laughs> Coach Shaver, we gotta give Shaver. We gotta give Shaver credit. You know, he's doing his thing with her, man. And you know, he, like I said, he's the best for the, on the collegiate level, man. Like he's the greatest hundred meter female coach in college history. And that and all them records on the LSU top ten speaks for itself. They all came from under him, except for one. Except I'm for a, one. I'm, no, I'm 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 gonna put something that ain't on the on the topic list. On the topic list, cause you just said that and then we're gonna get off of it real fast. Just answer the question, yes or no. If Shakira had to stay with Dennis Shaver, you think that she would have won? Won, won? won what? Would have won a major championship. Like stayed no, in but college she, she or met. went back to no. her as a pro? No, stay, stay. No, 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 no. Went pro, but stayed with Coach Shaver and then go to Dennis. No, no, but they, but she would have made them Jamaicans tinkle their panty briefs. <laughs> wait, wait. What major championship? Oh, it would have only been Worlds last year. But yeah. she would, she would have met, she would have been a serious medal threat. She, I, I'm confident that if Shakiri decides to go back to Baton Rouge, Shakiri's going to be a problem, a oh, serious she, problem. She, 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 oh my gosh, yeah, man, a serious. She's problem. She's a problem already, Doc. What are you, what are we talking about oh, here? Oh, 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 she's a problem. 
But it ain't, the, it ain't the problem that we're yeah, talking yeah. about. You know, just yes, no what's, what's, right what's, so, <laughs> what's 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 Shavery to do about her life? I don't know. Coach has nothing influence on people, man. Mm-hmm. Look, I don't think Shaver would have the, the influence that Dennis has on her. I don't. I don't think that Shaver. No, I don't think he'd be able to withhold anything that's going on with her. She's going through a, a patch in her life that she's just gonna have to go through. Yeah, the coaches ain't gonna do nothing about that. This has nothing to do with her. Her. Her preparation and her speed and her talent. That's all there. So her being in Baton Rouge wouldn't change nothing, Doug. She 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 just has a bad luck, yo. That could happen anywhere. Or I'm gonna say this, then we're gonna switch, go back to the other topic. Or maybe if she wasn't bad rules, she wouldn't have so much freedom. Maybe Schaefer has rules and regulations of some sort. I'm just playing devil's advocate, just saying, well, maybe maybe certain places is where you need to be at to where hey Shaver is a stuff. cool Shaver is a cool pro coach he 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 doesn't do the same thing he does as a college athlete once you turn pro he's he's kind of like hey this is this is your career yo so i'm not chasing you down for workouts i'm not setting up parameters i'm not getting mad if you don't want to work or show up or this is your career so do what you do he's one of those coaches he, he's more adamant about being on people when they're on a college team because they're college people when they're pros he doesn't he doesn't work like that yo so I don't, I don't think it would have helped her in that way. But she don't need that. She's good, yo. She'd be straight. Okay, so. Be straight. Elaine seven fifteen versus the six ninety eight. Which one more impressive? Come on. I gotta ask the question. I gotta ask the question. I gotta ask the question. <sighs> okay. Well, that's a simple one, yeah. Right, you got it. You got it. Aaliyah's the girl. Aaliyah's the girl right now, yo. <laughs> She's the one right now. Okay, so okay, so so if we go, oh no, with, Dina, no wait, Dina though, Dina though. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a Dina too. Hold on, I'm getting that too. I'm get that too. Yeah. So we go Dina. with coaches, coaches thing, which is the jump to the hundred meters, and what it makes they like 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 in the hundred. <laughs> if Elaine running seven fifteen, then what does that do for her hundred meters? What does that make up? Is she like the number one or not the number one based on her run? I mean, if we, did, if we did it for one, we got to do it for bro, the other. Bro, if if Elaine Thompson is not back with Frano, Elaine is going to be looking at, she's going to be looking out of the medals. So so her 715 didn't look impressive to you at all? I'm going to say it again. If she is not back with Frano and she's doing the hubby coach thing, it's rap city for her. <laughs> Yo, I think I think I think Dina and uh, Aaliyah need to race somewhere, yo. Hey. I need to see it. Because I hey. asked that question for a reason. If you don't think Elaine Thompson looking like that now is a problem, then something's wrong with y'all. Because Elaine I'm not looking Thompson. at the time. I'm looking at. Wait a minute. She don't look like she got a limp. She don't look like she got a a, a pain. She don't look like she's struggling. She don't look like she's uncomfortable. She's starting to look like she's back to running. That's what I'm looking at. I ain't looking at the time. I'm looking at, wait, she look, she look, she looks from the eye test. She looks damn good. So when I, when I think about somebody who's went 10 5 already, damn what they doing. <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody who's went 10 5, and I can say they look good right now. I'm saying that like they look good right now. So, so she's with me, Frano. For me, that 715 <laughs> is, is more impressive Frano? to the six than the 698. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It was outside oh, too. Man. And it was outside. Okay, what so up? if that's the case, hey. then you can't then that's the case, then I need you to retract your statement of Aaliyah being the number one hundred meters runner right now in America. Because uh, uh, you based it off of her sixty. I can't bro, basically bro, lanes. Bro, I can't do the you same thing did. Bro, you told my two people running <laughs> 60 in two different elements. One is inside, the other one was outside. So 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 actually my element is, is a little closer to being real. Because <laughs> oh, at least it was outside. <laughs> at, least, at least it was outside. So at least I could judge a little closer to it being more accurate of a hundred meter dash conversion as you did. You so this, eloquently this, said this, her 698 made this, her the number one this, this ain't runner. happening. This I'm just happening. saying her Elaine 715 in my eyes made her the number one sprinter in the world. 
let me let me hop in first. Uh, people in the comments are saying that her thing was into a negative a negative headwind. It was not. She had a 0.5 tailwind um, for her 715. So essentially nothing, but it was not a te- it was not a headwind, which some people are claiming that it was. Um, Thank you, Colin. What uh, what I will say, uh, kind of agreeing a little bit with Ray, not too much, but a little bit. Not too much. Like I think the the seven one five, like it's it's big for her because it shows one that she she looked healthy in it. Because remember, in her like last year, she was clearly not in a she was she wasn't healthy, and even in that podcast that she did, um, yeah. she mentioned like, hey, you just got to run. Like contracts don't care. If you if you're healthy enough to line up, then you're healthy enough to you know to get this back. Like we just paid you all this money, um, so like now and seeing like there she wouldn't have lined up in this race in January if she wasn't good. So clearly, like that means she's she's feeling good, and all the last times that she has done a sick a sixty meter this early in the season, this is like one of her best ones. I mean. 2021, it was a huge headwind, so it's like impossible to, to blame it. It was a 731 with a minus 1.7. Uh, 2016, she did a 7 717, but it was with a plus one six. So this is her best opener. And if we're if we're if I'm gonna judge that Noah Lyle's best opener in the 60s, saying I think that he can make the US team, which y'all crucified me for, I gotta be consistent and say. Hey, this is Elaine's best opener as well. It's it's got to look good for for her the rest of the season <clears throat> too. She going. Oh, wait. But, but this isn't her. This isn't her best opener though. Best opener in the sixty. Nah, it's yeah, not. I think it is. Best sixty meter opener. I'm I'm looking nah, through right I now. Unless I think she's opened up. I think she opened open up with like seven zero last year. Yeah. No, she didn't. Nah, she didn't do that. Not last year. She did seven one nine. She did seven one nine last year. Uh, it was into a oh, you were, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You did it. She did that. Yo, her opener again. indoors was a seven oh eight. Um, she did open that. That's indoors. what I'm thinking about. Oh, that's what I'm thinking about. But she ran outdoors before that. Yeah, it, they okay. run the same race. They run this exact same race every single like all, all the Jamaican mm-hmm. sprinter women except for Shelly runs the the Queen's Grace Jackson track <clears> every year, January 29th. But into a headwind, technically, that's a better run. Than the run this year, technically. Yeah, I mean, even right. if it is, it's by. I can't remember what it looks like. Yeah, I agree. But it's not pretty damn impressive. No, wait. It is pretty wait, damn wait. impressive because no, you got to think, think about it. No, it's not pretty damn impressive. You got to think about it. It's cool. You got to think about it. You would be at least at least I would think this. I would be more afraid of saying. Tom Brady looking good, then Dak Prescott looking good in regular season. And what that I mean really that is, I'm being more impressed okay. with Elaine looking good because I know what you do. <laughs> I already know your capabilities. You've shown that shit like I'm, I'm, I'm medalist, championship. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm postseason. On the other hand, it's like okay, well, yeah, come on, Dak. You know, you showing a whole lot of front, you know, but. If Tom looking like that, you ain't gonna have a chance, no matter how good you look. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm pretty much saying that like you can run 698, but if she looking like that, you still gonna catch hell. Cause that tank gonna hit 10 5 before. You gotta you're gonna have you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go. Because if she can get anywhere close to what she's been, the gap is here. So you're gonna that you're gonna have to bring that 698. You're gonna have to bring it and you're gonna have to hold on to it. So it's based off of how she looks, not what's on the clock Mm-mm. at all. I'm going based on how she yeah. look. I ain't going off the clock. I'm going based on because seven fifteen. If someone runs seven fifteen, but their personal best in hundred is ten point five, that wouldn't necessarily be a good correlation. Well, no, no, no. It's how they ran it. How they ran no. I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I was. That's why I was clearing that up. No, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. How saying. they ran it. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm always looking. I'm breaking down footage. How did they do it? How did they get there? She looked clean. She did, but. Aaliyah looked clean too. Aaliyah looked fast. Aaliyah, put it this way: if they if, if they lined up right now for a hundred meter dash, Aaliyah's gonna smoke it lane. H- hands down, she gonna dust her. She will dust her. Hands down. Right now, tomorrow, lined up, gone. 
That's my concern. That's just my concern. Just like with Abbott. Just like with Abbott. 50 point, 50 point, 50 point. Baby Jesus, 50 point. I'm okay with Abbott's 50 point though. All right? Close race. A, I'm completely different on Abbott's 50 point than I am on the 6 9. Completely different. I love Abbott's 50 point. Perfect timing. That's what you're supposed to be running. That's why I kept trying to explain to them that, for one, I think she should be primarily a 400 meter run. Because, damn, she. This is why I'm saying that. And this is why we said it last week that what we were talking about, like, would oh. she, she, she be more prone to do the 400 <laughs> or the 200? And then, you know, me and Colin, smart guy, kind of agreed, like, she got a better chance of milling the 400. And then all of a sudden she comes out, kapow, y'all, 50 point inside. Me, we say more. <laughs> Did you see? So, 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 let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. So, Tyson ran 44.89. Is he a quarter mile? Tyson wouldn't. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought it up. No, 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 no. That's not a good person to bring up. No, 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 That's not a good person to bring up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about it. In Arkansas, did Tyson run four by fours? Was he on a four by four winning team? At Worlds, did they pick him for a four by four? No, they did not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Great, 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 great. Tyson Gay was on Arkansas's four by four. It was him, Wallace Freeman, Omar Brown, and and uh of the Gaston kid that ran forty four eight. When he was at Arkansas, so yes, I said they run on four by fours. Okay, I stand corrected. Coach. I stand corrected. I stand corrected for college coach. I stand corrected. Did Team USA ever say Tyson? We would like for you to come over here after you ran a complete college season. After you've made a team on your first year, we would like for you to come over here and be in the finals of the four by four. No, but I know. Okay, Tyson, so stop, but, hold, stop. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, because you're throwing all these little nuances in there that don't make <laughs> Tyson was when Tyson ran 44 8, Tyson was in consideration. They did add Robert for him to run. Consideration versus the admiration that you're going to run is completely different. But listen, he was asked. Coach, you can't, coach, you, you're not going to break Tyson Gay for one of these. All right, all right, all right. All right. So yeah, I don't think that's the idea. I don't think that's the idea. I can do this. Colin, you would like this one. No, every time, no, ever, no. Ever, ever since ever since Michael Norman has been a professional, he's never ran over ten flat. He's ran oh he's always ran under ten seconds. Is he a hundred meter guy? Wait, what's your question again now? Michael Norman, ever since he turned pro, every time he's run the hundred, he's ran sub ten every time. Is he a hundred meter run? No, he's not. So why the hell would you think Abby Abby signs a quarter mile and know that she's not a quarter mile? She is a quarter mile. Yeah, but he's... <laughs> 50 point indoors don't make you a quarter mile. I'm, I'm confused. It's a lot of folks trying to go 50 point outside. Last time I checked, 50 point outside made a US team. <laughs> so, yes. 50 point inside is... don't make you a quarter mile. Or I don't know what that makes you here, coach. I'm confused. I'm Kelly, confused. Kelly, was... I don't I don't understand who you think she's going to be. Yeah, hold on, because you, 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 can, you can agree with it because this is your era. Kelly Willie has made NCAA 60 meter finals. What did Kelly Willie go to the Olympics then? He went in the four hundred, but what what does oh 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 okay. so 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 that so is he is he a sixty meter run because he made NCAA finals in the sixty? No, he's not. Uh, that, he's that's not my point. Where we're getting but, but, to, but, we get, no, but you have to look listen. at you have to look at the the landscape. One thing, if he went like, six four to six meters, like you may say, like those comparisons are yeah. horrible. But, but also, you have to look at the landscape. You have to look at who she has to compete against, and yes. you have to look at the best opportunity. Now, look at when 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 Obama runs his twenty point nine, it's going to change a lot of people's lives. <laughs> it is two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so look at she might as well just get out the door early, yo. Like she did her thing in the two hundred, right? <laughs> She did a thing. You said it with such confidence. Uh, the, 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 like, the, the, the 400, the 400 is kind of, it's kind of wide open right now. But, but the thing is, Talitha looks good, and you know that um, Nasser's coming back, and Sydney, if she wants to run the four. So okay, there's some names she's now. Not doing the four this but, year. She's she's doing doing it no, she's not doing it this year. 
Oh, that's a letdown. She wants to go sub 50 first. That's something I was really looking forward to this year. She's not she's doing just gonna the do hurdles. So she's gonna do, she wants to defend her Olympic title again and, and wants to go sub 50 in the 400 hurdles. She ain't going to do it this year. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah. So it's, it's kind of wide open. She might oh, as well yeah. just she she could she could she could, she could do her thing in the four. She really could. I I, I don't see I, like she she does not. There's no one that I can say right now that that would definitely beat her in the four. And if, if Shawnee is doing the two, then it's it's there for her. Yeah. Do y'all think she could double two four? No. And medal in both. Who she who she gonna take off the medal the the podium in the deuce? I mean, I, I mean, I, look here, man. I'm on the side of don't run a 200 because you ain't going to beat the other folks that's over there. That's coach that's yeah. down there on the bandwagon of she can no, 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 get no. No, <laughs> I, I think I think she can battle with the 200. I know she's not being Sher- uh, Sharika Jackson. I know that. Any, there's a woman walking the earth who runs faster than most high school boys and some dudes on your college team. That's a problem. That's a problem. So, bronze. <laughs> And Shelly already let it be known she's not running the 200 this year. So that's one medal is going. Elaine, yeah, I'm I sorry. Agree. Until until she goes back to Frano, she's irrelevant in the 200. I said so you it. Think she'll, you think she'll be Elaine? You think she'll be Elaine? Yes. Unless, you think unless I... Elaine is back with Frano, I said it. Ray, I said it. Yo, I did. I don't know what's going to happen. And Gabby's back now. Gabby's going to be back too. So Gabby's hey, hey, there. Listen. Shine is going to be there. Sharif hey, is there. Bone is there. Hey, Tantra Buford Bay. Hey, Buford Bailey got the camp of camps for women. Thought I was the one that was sick. <laughs> hey, love. I thought I was sick. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. Ray picked that comment <laughs> quick, yo. Yo, okay. your reaction time when you saw that comment, I see it with my own eyes. That, that, that was, was there point, for five seconds. Not even. That was a point one. That was a point one oh. That was faster than some of these reaction times. This yeah, week. Dad, you should go to sixty right now. Hey, yo. hey, I'm being honest with y'all. I think she could pull off the double. I think she could pull off the two and the four. But now, now here's what I'm saying, because that would be me saying that she got to beat somebody in the, in the 200. Do I think she could medal in the 200? Yes. I think she could get third, all right? It's the same thing I said last year. Shit, I thought I had that third last year. I don't know if y'all forgot, but I was like, oh, damn, everything going to get third. She didn't get third. I believe if she was to go into the championships, because right now she's doing 400 meter train on the damn coach, say 50 point, you're doing something. You're showcasing that you're going to have the, the cardio and the leg strength. And as Colin put it, she ran a marathon last year and still was able to run fast at the 200. So if she don't pressure. have a marathon this year and she only run half a marathon, I'm mm-hmm. looking to say, well, if she does the 200 and she's fresh in the 200, she could sneak third and still have enough leg strength to possibly go and get either gold or silver in the 400. But that's only if she is she doing like Mike. Like, I'm really, you know, if she get on that type of training, I can see her getting third and, and third and possibly gold or silver. If she just do 400, okay, now you're talking about some 47. She going on down there now. Right, yeah, I'd say, like, <clears throat> I think she can, like, I bet you a lot of people thought like, oh, I don't think she can meddle in the two. Like, I think what Ray just said is pretty, pretty accurate. I think that her, I think her floor is higher in the 200, but her ceiling is higher in the 400 when it comes to meddling, if that makes any sense. Um, Meaning I don't think she's going to fall back down. She can't like in the 400, she could win. Like I can see a world where Abby Steiner wins the world championships in the 400. Like I can see, what, see that too. I cannot see a world where she's gonna win the two hundred. I just don't what, see that. With what time? What time do you think she can run the open quarter? Yeah, outdoors. She can definitely run in the she, in uh like she, low forty nines, high high forty eight. High forty eight. I could see her. I could see her touch forty eight. Yeah. I <laughs> how many? How, how many? How many women in the history has run under forty nine seconds? I don't know. Oh, many. I know. I just want. I, I know. know. I, 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 I shouldn't say it hasn't been many. It's, there's a fair apparently amount. There's it's, a fair it's, amount. Apparently, it's the season to break records. So, hey, do you know the last? You know the last American woman. You know the last American woman to run under 49 seconds. Who? Uh, Sonia Felix. 
Allison, no, Allison never broke 49 seconds. Really? Yep. And do you know? Do you also uh, know the last woman to medal in both the four by one and the four by and the four by four? Just like uh, Abby Steiner did. We talking about relays now? We talking about relays? With the three He's the last person that did all the time. You talking about relays? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do you, 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 you want to answer the damn question or not, Coach? I mean, it's easy. You want to relays? You want to answer the question or not? I'm not. He doesn't want to answer. All right. He doesn't want to answer. Those guys want to answer a question. He's fine with not answering it. But the answer was out. Okay, well, individual. I'm glad individual. you mentioned individual because you did bring up something. And, and you said Sonya. Sonya did. Did Sonya ever run 21 in a 200? No, a PR 220, I think. 2201, I think. I'm pulling it up. 22 no, flat. Uh, Is it 20? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. 20, I, think 20, I think it's 22 <laughs> flat, right? Mm -hmm. Her personal flat, best. Is twenty two oh nine. So let me make sure I get this straight. So after he's ran what in the two hundred? Twenty one seven seven. Twenty one seven seven. Okay, so after right? he's ran twenty one seven. We'll go with that Michael Johnson <laughs> theory again. After he's ran twenty one seven. Sawyer <laughs> ran twenty point. And they also run the four, but you don't think Abby can go on the four eight? You don't. Come on, and, 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 and I'm gonna say and I'm gonna say it again. And I'm gonna say it again. Karani James is outdoor PR on the 200 is 20.4, and he ran 43.7. Thank you. So you Wait, don't think yeah. Abby can no, run 48? Donnie Richard Ross ran the 200. Her her 200 PR, she ran in 2012. Her 200 PR is more recent than her 400 PR. So basically, her when she PR ran was in 2006, the 200. 200 PR was in 2012. So I don't want to hear Jack Diddley about that, Coach, because she ran that <laughs> when she was older. Kill him oh with boy. the fat cock. We have oh more chances to do it, and oh she boy. didn't do it. Oh, boy. Abby's not going to run the 400 no time soon as, as, a, as an open event. Now, maybe well, she'll get older well, again. Not, well, I mean, Why? come on, I think it'll happen kid. soon. I, I think it'll happen yeah. soon. I bet you an amount of money that she won't run it in no time well, look soon. Look here, Cole. I'm going to say like this. Gonna go on the trajectory we can, well, you, well, you can't bet because, you know, because rules. But I'll tell you like this here. It don't matter what amount we could bet that she wouldn't, the right amount, from the right promoter to say, if you come run this here, she going to do it. Damn that. And for the right amount. That's an off race. That's an off race. We're talking about championships. Well, I'm about championships. I mean, championships, I can't, I can't call it championships. I'm just saying what I think she should do. I can't call them championships. I'm just saying what I, what I think she should do. I think she should focus on 400. Yeah, I don't think she would. So, yeah, sure, Coach, you're right, where she's not going to run the 400. Like, I believe you. She's not going to run at a major championship. Do I think she should? Yes. But that doesn't mean, like, I'm not her coach. I'm not her. She's She'll listen to this. She'll be like, that guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. And you're right. I really don't. I'm just talking shit. But, but like, that's what I think she should do. But once again, that doesn't mean she's going to do it or not. I just think that would be her best move to win a medal if she wanted to win a medal this year. I think they should listen to you, Colin, because I agree with you 100%. Change it up. And, switch it up. In my, yeah, answer, I think... in my answer voice, y'all so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't yeah, talk, you, I'm like, look here, wait, Jack, look think... here, look, let's be honest. I know you're good at 200, baby, but look here. We can go rack up and it's 400. <laughs> if I'm talking, what? I mean, you know, <laughs> we're going to go rack up. We're going to win she every 400-meter can... diamond league race. <laughs> and then we're going to win the 400-meter gold champion. I don't, even, I don't even think that's disrespectful. I think that that's like, that's a good advice. I think it's good advice and wow. it shows it's it's just letting her know her strength and and yeah. we have to and that but on, on the on the on a more brighter note we have to give that 50.5 credit because Shamir Little was in that race Shamir Little ran fast as hell too so yeah. it was a competitive race so it wasn't like she was running by herself she had Shamir was on her tail the entire race it was mm -hmm. speed versus strength Shamir oh yeah the dog man Shamir is a dog Going back to what Anson said just a second ago, yeah, this definitely should be taken as a compliment if I'm Abby. Like, how many sprinters can you legitimately say there is an opportunity for you to run a four, to run double the amount that you normally run in a world championship in medal? How many people in the world right now? You have Fred Curley, you have Abby Steiner. Michael Norman. Who else? Michael Norman, maybe. How many people do you? There's not. There is a very small oh, list. Oh, oh, what's even stronger than that, Colin is 
how many people can say that you would win it? Not <laughs> no, like, no, no, like, no, 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 no. If you did this, you would win it. Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> This is, this is good news. I think hey, for her man, to hear something like this, it's good news. Yeah, I think that. And 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 if Bobby, if Bobby is the coach that everyone says that he is, he sees that. You have to see that. Now he might have a strong belief in what he can do with her and the dudes. So I know he's a confident coach. Maybe he's going that route. But if he sees it for what it is. Who you, who you talking about? He has. With Bobby. Who you talking about with Bobby? You talking about Sydney? No, I'm talking about with uh, Abby. Oh, oh Abby with Tim. Abby with Tim Hall. Yeah, she got out there. I'm she tripping you. I mixed you. Yo, that's bad. Yo, I mixed her up with um. You got yeah. Oh, with the other yeah. I'm yeah. seeing it, Prince. That's bad. <laughs> that was that up. was ignorant, dog. That was ignorant, yeah. dog. Yo, not all white people look the I'm same. Actually, <laughs> I'm actually, I actually feel horrible about that. <laughs> That was just because they white two hundred meter runners. They all look the same. That's crazy, by hey, the way. Hey, hey, I have a new perspective of the innocence that, like, yep, that, know, that yep, white people yep, do that with. I have a new, I have a new perspective of the innocence that white people do that with. So it's innocent. <laughs> hey, Yo, real quick. hey, it it was a slip of my mind for a second. It's just a full power for a second. I I, I know Prandini. I know what Jenna Prandini is. Yeah. No, but real talk though. No, I think I feel like I feel like Abby should understand like what should oh, happen. Oh, it's a Yeah, I was. Yeah. Did it's you see? Good. So I've seen a lot of people were saying Sharika Jackson. Did you see what she ran this weekend? No, she ran the four hundred. <laughs> Guess what she ran yeah. the four hundred? What? Outdoor four hundred, the Jamaican meet. What do you think she ran? She probably jogged the fifty nine. <laughs> Wait, she did. What she ran two. She ran a 53. Damn. Outdoors. No, she don't want to run a four no more, man. man. She don't want to run that four no more, baby. She don't want to run that shit at all. She's done with that, yeah. She's done with that. What's up, PB? 49 what? Golly. Uh, 49, yeah, 40? 49. Yeah, 49. I don't know. But damn, yeah, I saw that. She's done with that life, man. Jogging, jogging, jogging. Yeah, I was like, she... That's what it was a practice. It had to be practice, man. Like, that's that's crazy. Well I, well, I might as well roll on over to the other disrespect. So, Christian Cole, man. Christian Cole. Hey, but hold on one second, though. Real quick. Don't you think that Jenna Brandini should focus on the 400, too? No. Not at no. all. Not she even used to be a jumper. Thing. No. It was a long jumper back Hell then. Hell no. Nah. Yes, they won. So, you think the 20 that 20 Jenna is going to do something in the deuce? I mean... Yeah. She'll make yeah. a team like she makes teams. No. She'll yeah, make yeah, finals. Hey, look, teams. everybody she can't does. be Michael Jordan. Oh, we're, we're, talk, we're, we're talking about we're she's talking about kidding. podiums. We're talking about podiums. No, she never. Do you feel like she has a better chance at the podium in the four than in the deuce? No, no. she has a better chance at podium in the four by one. She is a four Thank by you. one leg. Thank you. Some people they're gonna play around. That's it. Like individual events, though. Individual events. She's not making it. Her individual. She's never even made a final. No, but she she'll make the team. Yes, the she deuce, has. But... No, she hasn't. She's never been an international world. final. I don't think so. And I think I she think has. She made Tokyo. Look at her. <laughs> she made Tokyo. I think she did. I think she made Tokyo, but didn't know. Oh, oh well, but but look at though. She has more chance of ending up on a podium in the four hundred, I believe. Nah. And now that she's with Bobby. Nah. Uh, nah. No. Nah, nah. You she what? She, she has a better. She has a better chance in the deuce. She didn't have a chance. Period. Well, well let me say that because that's not very disrespectful. <laughs> listen, I'm not saying. Listen, that was very disrespectful. I'm not <laughs> saying whether or not she has a chance. I'm saying where is her better chance? Two hundred. The two or the four? See a two hundred. It's not. I say two hundred. Two hundred. See a two hundred to four hundred. See a better two hundred. How? Because I ain't you know, never seen her run a four hundred. Period. That's how. Shit, I don't. Even Run Never made a final, yeah. huh? Never made a final. She got out in the semifinals every uh, yeah. every time. Yeah, so, so, I mean, so you know, sometimes man, you just gotta, you know. I, I love yeah. Jenna. Jenna, that's that athlete. That's like I'm here, you know. And like, despite that love, you're you still found a way to be extremely disrespectful. I'm just saying, like, look here. Hey, on man, purpose. Look. I was disrespectful by accident. You're Jenna, disrespectful. Did, look purpose. here. Did Jenna not get a get a medal last year at the World Championship in the four by one? Okay. That's like Robert Ory. 
Sometimes I don't got to hit with three points. I still got a ring. She is like, I played my part. Hey, hey, look at her. Something, you know, that's Jenna. I just think that she, she's excellent at that that position. Like, all right. I'm trying not to sound this seven way. She's like, I stopped you. I mean, she ain't. I stopped you. It's, it's a I stopped you from. I like, stopped you from changing the subject, and I allowed you to be disrespectful. I gave you an opening to be very, very disrespectful to her. You know what? I'll take Jenna responsibility for that. I've been, I've been a Jenna fan ever since. I don't think so. Anyway, real quick, real quick, go ahead. Real quick. Is it, <laughs> like, do you think Lou Willi- like Lou Williams, best six man in NBA history, right? One of the best six men in NBA history. Is it bad to say that he is the best six man in NBA history? That's Hell not. No. He's not a starter. No, no. it's a. That's a great career. Like yeah, she's, it's, a te- it's a team she's event. Be, that means it's a team sport. Right now on track and field. Yo, you're actually, like, okay, but it's, actually, it's Manu, a team sport. Manu, you know, and there's the a sixth man award. The <laughs> and the relay is a team sport too. There it is. Okay, but there's not a relay man award. <laughs> there should be. <laughs> there's gotta be that third leg. <laughs> there, there is it. <laughs> Saying it, saying it to an individual at an individual sport that they're a role player, it's. Uh, Ray, I'm not. Def, Ray was definitely disrespectful. Bro, it's you're kind of disrespectful too. Some people are meant for relay. Some people are meant for final. Shout out to John Drummond, relay man award. Yo, that was no. Actually, the first team to go in is Canada because that's all they do. Ooh, damn, damn. But, 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 but. But let me let me let me respond to that. One person in the final and still went all the relay. Let, let me respond to that though. But we do it. We definitely do it. Right, Lavat? Yeah, I got lucky, yo. I got huh? lucky. Uh, y'all got right, lucky, yo. Hey, all right, man. Who the pass? Who the pass? All right, Com- go ahead, Ray. Yeah, just Coleman six seventy. <clears throat> Oh, he I didn't see the race. Huh? Clock, ma- clock malfunction. Race? Clock malfunction. Okay. Anthony, you saw the race? Clock malfunction. What did it Kyle, look like? Did you see the race? I saw some he of the 200. I didn't, see, I didn't know he ran the 60 as well. Yeah, he ran he the 60. He looked good. <clears throat> I put it up. It's on the race. Twitter. It's on there. Hold on. Time out. For him? That he, ran, he, ran, he, ran, he ran Arkansas this weekend, too. He ran 670. Okay. 670 if, if you take, yeah. if you, if you took the clock away... Right, and just watch the run. It's the love taking the clock. Kind of like my, kind of like my Atlanta seventeen. Kind of like, kind of like, kind of like Ray's um, <laughs> LA assessment. That's where I'm going with it. That's that's how it looks. <laughs> but to be honest, I really, honestly, don't think. I really feel like there was a clock malfunction. You know what? You know what happened? Um, he four tenths, Micah, he Micah, four at the same competition. Well, no, but listen, Micah, at the same competition. He, when he ran a six forty nine, the clock said six sixty at first. Something like that, and then it went but down. But it's the same track that they went six ninety eight at, though. So you going you can't put that out. No, now. but I'm just saying. All I'm saying. All I'm saying is. No, all, all I'm saying. All I'm saying is. The they didn't clock. go down the flames, Anson. They didn't go down the flames by itself. No, 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 no. I, 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 feel like, I feel like he looked all right. I feel like he looked all right. He looks all right. Michael ran. <laughs> Michael ran six forty nine in Texas Tech. He did. But but we'll Michael always ran. But Michael always ran six four. So that's nothing new. Okay, but watch. Six seventy for Coleman. All of, I didn't all see the race, so I can't comment on. So I'm gonna let y'all talk on. I'm gonna let y'all speak on. It seemed like there was a clock malfunction. That's all I'm saying. This is what I'm gonna say. This what I'm was gonna he say. humming? Like, right? Was he humming? I'm, I'm gonna be honest what? with you. No, it's no, 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 no. no. So he was the sixty. He the sixty is a little different than the hundred when it comes to shutting off. Okay, because in the hundred you can shut off and it won't affect your time that much. In the sixty, it's so short to well. If you shut it off, it's gonna make it like you ran slow. I thought that his first 30 was awesome. Like I'm mean, I, I thought I was like, oh shit. He looking like he looking like old Coleman. I thought mm-hmm. his drive phase was good. I thought he got up to about 55, 58, and then got off of it. So now the thing about it is that getting off of it indoors, that's really going from like six five, low pace, six seven instantly. Because it was really like six sixty-nine. If he had to went through the line. And actually, you know, ran through it and and exerted. I, I would say he probably would have hit, you know, fifty one or something fifty. So I don't really look at that six at that six seven that he ran. But I did look at his steps. I did look at his transition. I did look at his knee ash. 
he didn't look bad. Hey, he did not look bad. I'm not gonna sit here and say that he did. He didn't. He went snappy. He looked of good, course, man. But he looked powerful, and, and that's the other thing I give to his credit. You want to look powerful now, so it looked like he powered his way through to you know and shut it off to a six nine, as opposed to a turnover to a six nine. To me, that's what you're supposed to look like right now. If you're gonna run indoors, you're supposed to look just like that right there. Because you ain't really running. This like I'm I'm really I just left the weight room this morning. So this way I should look like right now, but it should be cleaned up. He didn't look all all over the place like he did last year when he opened up. He looked he looked a lot smoother. I thought he looked good, man. I thought he looked good. I it's gonna be an interesting He's going to Melrose, right? I uh, he did last year. I think he's year. going to Melrose. I think he's going to Melrose. I don't think he's going to New Balance, but no, nah, he, he ain't in New Balance. In Mil, uh, Melrose and Melrose. I mean, take I think a look. He'll do something. He'll do something. He used to run Melrose. <clears throat> uh, let's see. But I mean, I say this while you're looking it up, though. <clears throat> Here's it uh, good, but it don't look like it's gonna be enough to be ready to go face them boys when it's time. Again, going off what Coach is saying, I, I yeah, you're going to outside hundred. Coach would ride you all day, but that one, baby. Compared to they sixty and they outside hundred, I don't think Coleman gonna be ready <laughs> to race like the uh, the rest of the people, like the braces of the world and the Bromels and the Curlers. I don't think he's gonna be ready to race them based off his sixty. You know, man, we not worried. Up. We not we not worried about mom. Whoa, <laughs> that was extremely disrespectful. I'm I, I got a Marvin, 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 that guy, man. I'm messing with Marvin. I think see Marvin in the comments in the second. Hour. Ray's gonna <laughs> raise. I mean, Mar- Marvin's gonna go into New Balance with some attitude. I think because he's being disregarded. Oh, well, Marvin. Yeah. yeah, people, people talking about Mar- Noah more than him. Marvin, he's gonna be like. Noah. <laughs> you, you know, you know, we got to first, we got to first see Marv get out of the plane. You know, that's the mo. We got, you got to first see Marv get out of the plane before you can even say. <laughs> yeah, you never know about bracing, boy. You, no. you ain't be on the list all the way up until <clears throat> Marv be like, I ain't running. Shit, nah. For real. I have everything together for me. <laughs> Marvin, good. Marvin, good for getting out of the parents for you not running. Crook. Hey, look here. Well, no, no, because if you don't, if you, oh, don't, you don't get the period, that is disrespectful. Up, they are disrespectful. Mom, come for you, sir. Come for you. They are dis- very disrespectful. You don't, you don't even get that. You don't, you don't get that at all. Yeah. All right, you know what, though? Speaking of appearance fees, I'm going to roll over and, and ask y'all a question. So y'all know, my man, I mean, we've been on it. You know, God, God, you lost some money. And then, you know, some people saying that it was an old video. You know, kind of put it up to on his uh, Instagram. And then asking people to think. Me personally, I don't think it's an old video at all. All right. I have my reasonings for not thinking it's an old video. I know folks say, I don't think it's an old video. What it just mean? Anyway, do y'all think both coming back and running this year? I'm saying this year, right now. Hell be effective no. in hundred days. Hell no, because he's not coming back. That ship I, 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 You can't, you can't, you can't. Uh, if the question was if he did, no. hypothetically. No. If he did, would he be? Could he be effective? Now the question, I got a question for you. What do you mean by effective? Effective means he can meddle. Unless he's been training that I don't know about, I don't think you can go from not training in five years, six years, to being effective. Now, could you? Could he make a crap ton of money? Yes, he could. Ra- he could do three races. Just put up against, hey, I'm going to race Tyree Kill. I'm going to race, you know, I'm going to race the fastest man in every sport. You know, the fastest soccer player, the fastest football player, the fastest basketball player. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to make it a pay-per-view race and I'm going to make a bag. He could do that. But you don't think he can compete in track and field? This year? No, he's been out the sport since 2017. And he's 36, 30, he's the same age as Kelly. He's 36. 36. Game. He ain't trained since since 2017. He'll make the final. I'd have him make the make, final. Make the final of what? On the hundred? Sure. Just because he's both. No, just because no, I gotta be respect. No, no, just because no, I gotta no, respect him. No, 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 no. Both gonna would, be in that no. race. Both both gonna be in that preliminary race that they be showing at in early morning. 
with all the with all the <laughs> with, with the eleven old guys that's running, that's the race he's gonna be in. No, I gotta say, it. no, he gotta make uh, the final. He won't make the final. No, he won't nah, make man, the, how would that happen? Make, no, he won't because he's gonna make the final. If he, no, he, if Bolt, he Bolt, Bolt, how, that means that means he's just that means that he knows he's got something to run for. So he if he's running, if this is a big if, by the way, if what? he's running, that means he knows he's got something that he can run for because he wouldn't pull up, he, he wouldn't be like, you know what, I'm gonna start running track knowing that the best I can do is 10 2. He wouldn't do that, that'd be stupid. No. The only no. reason you would come back is if you have something in the tank. That's the no. only reason. Whatever mushrooms you are on. I don't think you understand what like, I, don't, I really don't think you get it. I don't think you're grasping what I'm trying no, to say. No, you not. If grasping somebody's it. coming <laughs> back, that means they can do something. His brand is too big to ruin it in a race six years after he retired. It's I love stupid. The world. I love but that's why he wouldn't come back. Video. That's why I'm saying if he did. Hey, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. I, I hear you. He, he been off. He been off how many years? Since 2017. Six years. Yeah. Yes, yeah, six no, years. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. How long was gas suspension? Oh, now you can ask somebody that was in his 20s. I just asked the question. I just asked the question. It was four years. Gatlin was it wasn't in his 20s. Was it six? Was it six? Okay. It's six. 2008. 2008 is when Bolt really hit the scene. Right. We can all say that. Bolt, so that one will say his clock started. Bolt retired right. in 17, right? It's nine years, right? Right. right? Okay. <clears throat> Here's the one thing I'm going to go to this side of, of the world and say. No, I believe that he could come back, and I believe that he would still medal. Here's why, because we have to put things into account of this right here, okay? Y'all mentioned if he trained, <laughs> if he trained for it, all right? Now, here's the thing that I'm, I'm going to put out there. Y'all probably need to do your research and read upon what Dr. Mueller was giving Bolt when he was running fast. Do, do anybody know? May I ask that question? Do anybody <laughs> know what Dr. Mueller was giving Bolt when he was running fast? It's, 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 it's not illegal either. And it's on, it was on ESPN and it's documented. What was Dr. Mueller giving him? Okay, nobody knows. I tell y'all, because this is researchable. He was giving him peptide buns, okay? Peptide buns are extremely expensive in the medical world. Peptide buns, and I'm not making that shit up. Like, you can look it up yourself, literally. You can literally go on, and if Boat talks about himself. <clears throat> he was taking peptide buns, right? Peptide buns are extremely, extremely expensive. You're talking seven to $10,000. Now, what does peptide buns do for the body? Let me educate y'all because some of y'all are just coaches and track athletes. What peptide buns do for the body is the same thing that it can do when it gets into your system and then it tells your body it's not steroids, not steroids at all, but it tells your body to repair itself rapidly by doing stuff. Now watch this. If, 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 if somebody can walk into a gym and they're overweight, right? They're completely overweight. Can they not transform their body and lose that weight and get in shape? They can't, Wait, right? what's the point? Where are we going? Hold on, the point. The point of fact is right here. You y'all are gonna sit there and disrespect somebody who's ran nine five. Okay, he ran nine point five zero. When he was retiring, it was because you know his body was banged up, this and that, yada yada yada. So he could be fresh now. Who cares? Y'all gonna say somebody that can run nine five can't train at the age of thirty six? At the age of thirty six, can't train. Well enough to be able to run at least nine eight because let's keep it one hundred. Y'all make it seem like they're running fast as hell in the hundred now. Now they gonna medal. So Great. I'm supposed to believe that you saying Bo at thirty six, at thirty six years old, not saying right now. If he had started in October and said I'm going to train and I'm going to get with my doctors and I still have millions of dollars, which means I can get the vitamins that y'all still can't get, which is why I was beating y'all in. If I took it serious and did all of that, <laughs> I can't get a 9-8 out of it? You're stupid if you think he can't. He can't right. get a 9-5. He won't get that, but he can get a 9-8. He can't right. get a 9-9. Right. Because 9-5 right. 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 is right. reasonable. Why? Watch this. Watch this. If Ray Elton goes out right now and run, okay, 
At best, what y'all gonna say? Oh man, Ray ain't gonna run no more than 10 six, 10 seven. You're right. Why? My PR is 10 flat. So I should slow down that much. His PR is nine five. In six years, he can't go nine nine with his doctors. You're smoking crack if you think he can't. <laughs> you know right. Again, right. Kim Collins. Kim Collins went nine nine and he ain't even vote. But vote right. can't go nine nine and vote at the right. time sit down. Right. Come, come, come join me. Come join me in this cage. I right can't here, join in the land of stupid. <laughs> I don't think he should race. I don't think he should race Tyreek. Yes, he should. Because he just lost oh, he the, he just lost $12 million. Dollars. He should race he should race Tyreek Hill. I'm, I'm saying if he more. races him, he should race him next year. He I shouldn't race him. He shouldn't race him off of a of, off of a couple read months comments. training. Bulky nine nine <clears and 10 throat> flat. Would you want to read the comments? Because y'all being disrespectful. A man who okay, don't Ray, 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 you have to understand. Right. A lot of Come people, on, a lot of a lot of fans think Bolt is still the fastest man in the world right now. That he's just chilling. They don't even understand the context yeah, of track is being it, off it's, for it's six years. Is. He if he did Bolt, he did nothing. If he trained, y'all using the word nothing. I'm like, oh, nothing. Ray, I'm I hear. I he listen. What you're saying doesn't make isn't isn't totally nonsense. It's not. But what I'm saying is, you, you can't deny the compounded results of him not training for six years no it's, it's been longer than that hasn't it it's been longer know. than that 2017 18 19 that's six years okay six years yeah so it's it's his body it, it would need time to get back into that type of form and to fire like that and to recover and to take the pounding and to and even to get mentally back into so the basically, routine. Basically, and, basically, like I was telling you about Christian Coleman and, last year. And he'd have to do a fall. He'd have to do a fall. You, you think what, what, what kind of fall do you think someone's going to be able to do their first year back after a six-year break? He'd need some time, dog. You know, if it was a couple, we're talking a, a couple years of preparation. Okay, okay, but not for him to just come back. Hey man, if Lolo Jones can break the Masters world record. <clears throat> I'll, you Lola, know, and Lola, I, Lola's been training Lola consistently. No, no, no. Lolo's been Lolo's been training in something, whether it was bobsleigh or whether it was she probably still worked out. Reality and TV track stuff during the summer. She's she's always active. Bolt's not active. I think those are old tapes, and I think yo, it was to get people talking. <clears throat> yo, yo. I'll tell you this though. Is, I'll tell you this though. I think what he. I think he actually misses the sport. I think he misses the sport, and I would love to see him come back. What a story! What you a story! Are, if Bullet came back. Listen, but listen. He, he oh, needs oh, some time. Anson, let, me, let me get this, Anson. You talk about a man who has went on record about how much he hated training, and you mean to tell me that you think that a man who has went on record and said how much he despised training. He's gonna come back at 36, 37 years old and can run nine eight. Listen, man, no, I have a beach, hold, hold, hold on. I have a beach house for sale that I want to sell to you, Ray. It's in Boise. I don't I'm, I'm confused, coach. Cause you say, I mean, he has been on record saying he despised training. Okay, right. Like, so you ask, hold on, hold so on, you on, 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 on. Watch this. Just like, and I'm not. I'm just gonna throw something out there crazy. It's like a lot of us have been on record saying we despise this or that, but we still do it. You can't convince me, nor nobody in Rage Take Land, nor anybody with the same consciousness to where you can not convince anybody that the world record holder, the most decorated sprinter ever, despised training so much that he went and got all the medals anyway and went through all that training. He can say what he want to say. <laughs> he can say it all day long, but you're lying. Why? Do you know how hard you're trying to get that? No, it's not the point. The point of the matter is that you're asking a man that's close to 40 than he is. And then you compare him Kim Con. Kim Con. He's 36. He's close to 40. He's 36. 30, 30, 30, 30, 
It's closer to 40 than it is 30. <laughs> 36 is closer to 40 than it is 30. Look. Now, I, I want to say something. I mean, I Gatlin something. sub 10 at 39. I mean, it is possible to do. Gatlin, I, know that he was, I know he was training consistently. I know right, it. Right. Thank you. I, thank I know you. that 100%. Have you, saying, have, you seen, have you seen Bolt lately? Okay. Have okay. I was, gonna, I was getting ready to say that. It was only a few weeks ago that he did the podcast with. With a with a Safa, maybe about a month ago, Man, baby. and he, he he doesn't look like he's in, in running shape at all. He doesn't again. So those videos are old. Those videos may be old again. The question was, if he trained, would he no. be effective? Y'all no. said if he trained, he like if he started today, if, to if me, he started today, to me that is no, not today. If he had okay. trained for this season. To me, that's disrespectful. Yes, Why? Because could, that's just like be. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather won the greatest of all time. He said, I will train for one fight and fight Pacquiao. And guess what? Because my technique is so fucking awesome, because I'm so good, I can come out of retirement and fight. And fight. I'm not going to sit here and disrespect one of the greatest friends of all time and say that he can't come out of retirement at 36 and be effective. I did not say that he would win 9-5, mm-hmm. but effective oh. is 9-9. Nine, nine. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I gotta say this. I gotta say this. If if Floyd came back, well, not now. When, when Floyd he came did back, come back but, yeah, yeah, when when he did come back, no, he he wouldn't. Okay, when he came back, the after the retirement, was he was he thirty six around there? Yeah, because I, what, I'm, what I'm gonna say is he'll, he'll come back. Yeah, I think Floyd he won't necessarily. Like what well, when he when he fought Connor or when he was actually boxing. That last fight. You I know, just feel like there's, there's so many things you could do in boxing where you can rely on mental and sa- and savvy and everything, a, a bunch of things outside of your actual physical capabilities. But the training, is, the training, is, though, sprinting is too boxing, physical. The training physical is all capabilities. It's similar, not all, all capabilities. It's not all capabilities, but it's very physical sprinting. So with your physique and what you do with your body is really important. You're not going to win a race with savvy or with being doing something clever. You're going to have to do something. So there's a difference there. At least in the hundred. Then distance races, you can be you can just be slow as maybe in a distance savvy. race. <laughs> yeah. But All I'm saying well, is, someone, if you give, you saying if you want me to put my money on. And you say, Ray, we're going to give Usain Bolt a full year of training. And he has all of the same superheroes that he had working with him before. And he gets one year to train. Do you think he's going to make the podium? You effing right, I think he's going to make the podium. Uh-huh. <laughs> you damn right, I think he's going to make the podium. No, yes, sir. But without a a doubt. He, he going to start training in a normal season? And the goal is to make the podium right now? Yes. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm giving the podium. Because again, I'm on- 9-8 is making the podiums. 9-8 making the podium on what I would be calling the fast tracks. Keep it in mind, most athletes, even my boyfriend, Love Lindell, last year, you know, they, they hung around 9-9. They hung around 9-9, 9-8. And then USA or whatever world's a super track, 9-7, which is respectable. Again, both was running 9-5 and 9 sixes on non-super tracks, non-super spikes. So even when I put that shit into perspective, I'm going to sit there and say, okay, well, both should have been running like nine four or something like that. To say that this man can't go under ten and he's ran nine five again, that's to say that somebody who's ran ten flat can't run ten or oh, can't run ten six. So I like I I think of it from the other way that Ray's saying, where is, Ray's saying like, crazy. hey, if we gave if we gave Usain Bolt a year of training, can he melt like metal or whatever? I think it's the I'm other saying. way. I think if today, let's say today. We, we see on Usain Bolt's Instagram, he posts Texas relays, gonna like the date. And it, he says he's going to run just like how DK Metcalf dropped, dropped the spikes and it was the date. I think if he, te- if he tells people I am running at this race, I have to believe he's going to run fast enough to be competitive because it would be he would not risk the brand being demolished 
by racing in six years after. And who gonna and who gonna not and who gonna Phil Kern said not pick Bolt? You you gonna not pick him? Like Bolt announces, I've been training. I'm running next week. You gonna not pick him to win? Nah, son. Nah, son. You on that island by yourself? You about that goddamn I, deserted island out of an Idaho well with that beach for waterfront? I'm not gonna hop out there with you at all. Hell I no. can't believe I can't no. believe this is hold on, man. No. I can't believe this is even a conversation. Okay, he's thirty six. Yeah, <clears throat> wait, 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 he's 36. His central nervous system is shot. Shot. Okay, so, 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 so how your, your mic, your mic is, your mic, your mic, your mic, your mic, your mic is scratching. But how, 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 how does that, so how did that work for Gat then? Did he not shut down at 36? Oh, Kim Collins, did they not shut down at 36? I'm so confused now. Right. Michael Rogers. Unless I talk. Unless I talk. That sounds crazy right now. Okay? You're comparing guys who've been training straight through. I'm to a guy who's been out since 2017. I don't give a damn that he ran 958. He ain't running, he ain't running 10 nothing. He ain't running 99 nothing. Okay, man, see, what, what, no, I'm just gonna have to think what what if he took steroids? What if he what if he, what if he took EPO? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Because you said it like it's not possible, period. I'm just throwing it out there now. Like, what if he blood though? <laughs> Can he do it then, coach? Or what if, what if he did? Can he do it? There's no way possible for this 36 year old man to ever be able to run 99 at all. <laughs> Dude, he hasn't ran or trained seriously since 2017 when he ended up on the ground when he tore his hamstring. That man literally was only training part time in 2017. And he got hurt in the four by one. It's over. No, he's not making a comeback. He's not running under 10 seconds at 36, 37 years old. It ain't happening. And we just need to come to grips with it. Okay? It's like the Cowboys. Y'all not winning. Okay? It's like Terrell Owens still holding on to the dream <laughs> of being signed to an NFL team at 49. It ain't happening. It's over. It's finished. Kaput. We have YouTube. We can go back yeah. and go watch. We can go, and go watch. His yeah, we can do YouTube. Right. It's he, over. It's over. Yeah. And it's okay. It's He's not okay. going to come back. He's not coming back. We can, listen, dreams are made for pillows at nighttime, not during the day when we wide awake, right? Okay. Well, Coach, what I'm, just, Coach, what I'm trying to figure out, though, is what was underneath that basket because you going on a rant answering was, a question was, I ain't even asked. It. Hold on, watch this, watch this, watch this. It's a simple question. Because you give me a whole bunch of stuff that, that don't even add up my question. My question was, if Usain Bolt was to train, would he be effective? No. no. Okay. Now, no. so now, watch this. With everything you giving me, he ain't sat out. He didn't send down. I didn't say none of that. That, that. That's your argument by yourself. You were talking to yourself. Because that is a water for your own argument. I said, if he trained, if he trained, would it be effective? You say no, fine. But the whole soliloquy of he ain't did nothing. Well, well, none of that matters then. Because that's Monday. not part of the debate. Nobody Monday. can say it. If he Monday. what you doing, coach, right here. If Bolt didn't do nothing and woke up tomorrow, could he run nine five? Coach, nobody I didn't say that. No, 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 no. That's what Monday. Come on. That's what you're insinuating. Monday. Because you keep saying he been sitting down. He ain't did nothing. He ain't trained. Well, we know that. So what you're insinuating is we're trying to say if you get up to today, you run. No, we're not saying that. We're not saying that at all. We're saying if he took it serious and actually trained, would it be effective? Nobody cares no. about what he ain't been doing. Throw that shit no. out the window. That don't no. matter. No, no. Monday. you're a hater, Monday. son. My, 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 my no. No. <laughs> Your mama names your mama names. We gonna call you my things. Don't do it. But what a story it would be. It would it would be it would be an excellent story for track and field. That's why I say coach is a hater, because if anything, we we should want that. Why? Because right now the women are the main event in track and field. Yeah, I said it, and I'm going off of what Connor said. So yeah, if anything, coach over here buttering up to the women i get it he might have made his girlfriend mad or something so he knew this part was going to be part of the of soliloquy you know so he want to make sure he butter her up i get it i get it you know so we talk about boat coming back wow. he got to go hard you wow. know because he knew that i was going to talk about the women now i get it coach i understand where you're coming from baby we're talking it. about college track now <laughs> God damn. i'm tired of talking about boat <laughs> can we talk about college track you gotta get to the women before we get to college track we god damn man then we get to the segment. Nah, the women.
women have they become the main event now when we're talking about sprinting Yes, right now the women are better than the men in the sprints. Uh, they're doing better. That's <clears throat> I think they're more active. The season, but they're better. Are they, though? Aren't they? I don't think so. You're saying no? they're more active. How many top no, tier... The, the, the stars. The stars see yeah, more that's, active. Yeah, I agree. How many top? Yeah. T- how many stars for the women have ran this year? Yeah, there's Dina, there's Aaliyah. One, two. You could argue Melissa. Carson is uh, opening up this. Carson Warhol Keely. is running indoors this week. Okay, so three no, women so though. Three, Keely, so three women Keely stars. Hodgkinson. No, Keely Hodgkinson. Oh, we're talking about. Uh, okay, are we talking about the other? We're talking about long, longer distance, and then. Oh, I thought it was just women in general. I thought it was just women. He, just Ray, said, Ray said sprinters, but oh, okay, if you okay, want to talk okay. distance, well, it's fine well, too. No, I'm saying no, 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 back. I'm no, no, saying no, women no. in general. I'm not gonna say sprinters. I'm gonna say women okay. in general. That's that's okay. fine. If, if, Keely, if it's, that's fine. In general, I just feel like we're seeing a lot of the names on the women's well, side. Look on look on the men's but, side. I mean, what you've had <clears> Noah Isles, you've had uh, Carson Warhol, not Carson, sorry, um, uh, Christian Coleman. Uh, what's true. the guy? He broke the American indoor 3K record. Uh, he went to Notre Dame. Um, he made the 1500 meter team. I can't remember his name. He's a star. Um, I'm drawing a huge. No, he can't be. He is. He He broke, he made the, he made the team in the, for the 15 American record. He has American record in 3k. I just can't remember his name. It's a, I'm sorry. Don't want to tell you. Prerequisite. It's a prerequisite for a star, man. Jared Nagoose. There it is. Thank you. It's Jared Nagoose. Uh, you just, you just look that up, Kyle. Kyle, did you just look that up? No, I, that's what his name is. His name is Jared Nagoose. I'm just saying, stars, you, star. Like, you, if, even if you stay for a little while, the stars would come to your mind. If it's, if they didn't come to your mind, we, not you're talking this from the same person that mixed up Jenna Prandini and Abby Steiner. I don't want to hear. I know, but you look know it. But I have an excuse. <laughs> I have an excuse. What do you? I, I, what? This man says. Do you know so what time right. it is here? I'm chilling, dog. So what it is? What it is? But what? No, but the but same. I, I hear. The same uh, amount of is, men and women have ran the about. women it seems it seems like it, it feels like i'll just say it feels like the stars on the women's side are having impact so it it, it makes it seem like the women are doing better I, I i can't i can't i can't say that i mean on the men's side there hasn't been a, a guy where we're like whoa the women are way worse than a, right now yeah. 10 times more this, yeah but, look the yeah. men's the men's 60 no, no real outside of college. No real male pro has ran. You have Makai Williams yet. and Aver Ash. Yeah, I'm just talking about right now. Uh, Yo, I wonder if Makai is going to be okay. From yeah, he pulled up. Pull, the, he pulled up in the deuce. Right? Yeah, I hope Makai okay. who, who, uh, Williams. Oh, yeah, he pulled up with the again. It was him and Javante Harding. Um, the guy who used both, to go to North Carolina A and T that's now with uh, Tennessee. Oh, he also pulled up. He pulled up too. Yeah, right. they're both in the same race, and they both pulled yeah. up. I'm pretty sure. It didn't. It did. It looked like it didn't look horrible, but it didn't look good. Yeah, that sucks because I mean, I don't know, man. Because that's the problem with running that fast, yo. Like you're teeter tottering on injury. Running that fast on an indoor slanted track, two hundred. I think it was a bad idea. There's a reason I, I, that pros don't do the two hundred. There's a reason right. college the two hundred should be taken out altogether. Like well, the two hundred is dangerous. I think it's a silly well, event. I, well, I think it's a silly well, event. Well, and then I, I, I think the two hundred indoor world, world anyway. Well, 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 they no. took the two hundred off the professional level because no one was able to win out of out of any lane other than lane six. So with the disappear yeah. so why, why run it but, anyway? Right. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're gonna run a sprint event in contest, not the 60, it should be the 300, but that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. That's just my what personal opinion. What do you say? Opinion. That they I should have the 300 the three, instead of the, the 200? Three, yeah. Yeah, that's just my personal opinion. That's just me. That'd be fine. My yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That 200, that 200 can be. Do you ever see somebody pull up coming off that bank? Boy. 
that tumble would be nasty, bro. Oh, that's where he pulled up. Just coming off, just coming off the bed. <laughs> right. I only care about LB. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Man, my mic Ray's is fine. Comment selection is hilarious, dog. I don't think All people right. give you the appreciation for your comment selection. It's actually you have a knack. You have a knack. But anyways, hey, I, yeah, I, I it, was, it looked bad. But it looked bad enough. When you think about it, though, let's just put it out. Let's just be honest. When you turn on the track meet, you really turn on the track meet to see what the women going to do. You really not turn it on to see what the men are going to do. Even last year, when you think about it, you really wouldn't turn it on to see what the men were going to do because you already knew who was, you was really turning on to see what they was going to run. Like, okay, is Fred going to win or what Mark going to win or, or what? You know, it's like that's the same people, the same little pot. With the women, like right now, even last year, when they lining up, it's not only is it racist, it's fast. And it's a lot of them that's fast. From the hurdles to the eight to the four to the, to the 100, the two to 60, they are racing. It is to me, to me personally, I, I'm loving watching the women. That's 10 times more exciting to me than watching the men all day long. I mean, again, 698, 670. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the women are doing it right now, dog. I can't lie. Six ninety eight, six seventy. All right. Before we run out of time, moving right along. We gotta get the college track. Because that's my that's my main man Colin's main division. That's where he live, breathe, and hold all the information at. Collegiate track and field. Best track and field. I, I, I'll say it every time, too. <laughs> like every episode. Like track and field. Okay, how about this? Before we even start, we even get into what happened this weekend. Why do you say college track and field is the best track and field? Let me hear it. Yeah. Uh, college track and field. I don't disagree with you, by the way. This is weird. I don't disagree with you on that. Yeah. Uh, first, I'd say the ma- main thing is the, the national championship for collegiate track and field is better, like better version, like better – thing to watch as a fan than any professional major championship based off of like the formatting and what's at stake and the interest. I also love the parody that is in college track and field that since these are college kids, you have people that are 18 to 22. You have no idea what's going to happen. Like in, when we were watching that men's 200, everyone knew who was winning that men's 200. It was Noah Lyles. It was, there was no debate as to mm-hmm. who was going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, and when it comes to college track and field, it's just like you have no idea what's going to happen. Like, Boy, we, are, all knew, we all knew Big Joe would win the 200 last year. Stop it. Stop. Coach, fix your mic before we start. <laughs> get out of here. Stop. Like, Stop. So yeah. There was so much. <laughs> we, also all, we also knew that Makai – was going to win the 60 indoors last year, right? We also knew Aaliyah Armstrong was going to win the hurdles last year, right? Oh, but it didn't happen. Why? Because they false started. So, no, I don't want to hear, oh, we all knew. No, no, no. <laughs> these are college Everybody kids. knew Joseph Fambale was the best 200-meter runner in the damn country. Was Makai Williams the best 60-meter runner in he the country? He false started. Exactly, exactly. Okay, but, but was Aaliyah you know, Armstrong the best 60-meter hurdler he, in the country last year? No. No, but she was hurt. She got hurt. You said 60 meters. So when she, she, she went into the race, she who was it? Outdoors. She got hurt outdoors. No, she, she didn't. She got hurt indoors. No, she Ooh, didn't. Ooh, no, 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 no. She got hurt indoors. At indoor NECs, yeah. She didn't get to run. She didn't run at NECs. No, no, she did. Grace Stark did not get hurt indoors. She got hurt outside. So Grace Stark ran at the indoor 60-meter <laughs> uh, hurdle championship last year. You want to you wanna say that? Hey. In Birmingham? Indoor 60-meter you know, like, championship, someone... Grace Stark ran. Do you like when someone's talking to you with food in their teeth? It's kind of like talking with a bad mic. It's listen, the same man, kind I got of my head. Effect. Listen, I, I got these. I hear you, man. I'm just saying. That. He's saying. Does that sound better? Whoa, nah, what? Like, that sounds way better. Nah. That sounds way better. A whole lot better. So, so I now I can hear you. That the parody is just is just so much better in 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 college. It's it's a it's more exciting. And my other thing that I like a lot is the fact that you have a team championship. 
which makes it even more exciting. Like it's more because there's more stuff at stake. You have not only the individual title, but you have the team title because you can't get that at the world championships because USA is going to win the most amount of medals every single time and twice on Sunday. It's it, everyone knows that. And there is no scoring for team titles really, but there is when you come to colleges, which makes it a lot more exciting. Uh, I like the power rankings that you, that I, that people create during the season. You have the, the Bowerman awards, all that stuff. It's that's what makes college track and field significantly better. When hey. the big, when when the power five schools break off, you will get an actual team championships. It's not really balanced. Let's 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 be let's be honest. Did not, North Carolina A and T not just come in oh, second? Oh, oh, dude, 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 this is what I'm saying. Because you could go to the NCAA championships with one person, or you can go with ten. That's what I'm saying. So when they break off, when the power five schools break off and they do their own thing, that would be a real. Team championship. That's what they're trying to do. Now, do I agree that NCAA track and field is fun? Yes, it is. It's great. Love it. Love it to death. Okay. Love it to death. <laughs> but, you know, there are some predictable, there, there were some predictable wins. There was very predictable wins. So let's not act like every race, ooh, suspense. No, it ain't. No, it's not. So you had no. one, the, the men's 200. It's not. What oh. other races could have you predicted ahead of time last year to win? We all knew. We all listen. We all knew who was going to win the women's two hundred separate race. <laughs> okay. Why did you tell me? Nope. I said Ray. O'Feely. I said Colin, I said O'Feely. Who did Colin, Who did he pick? I picked O'Feely. Bro, it depends on what day of the week we did. What day of the week you asked him? He flip flopped okay, more than some white people at the beach. You got to. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Ouch. That man was. He was saying he, he, that man was saying Abby Steiner is the best thing known to man, and then he was saying favor might have it, and then twenty minutes later he was like, you know what? I've it's been Abby the whole time. Like this, see, this see, that, see that that's one. how I be. I get you know I had to I had to wait till the last minute. You know you got to check everything. You got to see what time they woke up that morning. Like who said what yesterday? Man, it's serious out here. Now I will go off of what Colin saying though. I'm letting him talk about it because I do want to talk about Messiah and Alfred. But me personally, I not just track. I personally think college sports period is more entertaining than professional sports. That's just very personal. Like I'd much rather watch March Madness than watch the NBA playoffs. I'd right. much rather watch the NCAA championship game than watch the Super Bowl. I'd much rather watch college NCs than watch USA's. I mean, it's just it is, it is what it is. And, and I think it's mo- mo- mainly because I mean, we y'all as as college athletes, you just competing now. It's the business part ain't in it yet. And sometimes the business part is what makes it boring. I.e., in, in NFL, you take preseason, you ain't gonna see this player, that player, or in basketball it's the same way. In college, you gonna play and you gonna run. So no matter what, we get the, the entertainment value. So Did I'm you see what Melissa Bell tweeted. Out. I'm sorry. Oh, Melissa Jefferson tweet, tweeted. He said, "Coach gonna hurt himself." <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, Carl, you gonna catch a hernia today, but we gotta send Coach a gift basket. Cause man, y'all tripping. I'm, I, I'm, I cut you off, Ray. I cut you off. I cut you off. No. Y'all I, tripping today. All right, they, they let you know MJ. She be watching too. And that look at that. She what? Coach, she probably said that because you what you said. Tom well, Boston, Aaliyah Hall's number one right now. And then you got <laughs> Melissa Jefferson and everybody watching. You really do be the most disrespectful person on him. Like, for real, like, you know these folks be watching, these folks be watching, watching. You be talking about Trayvon, you be talking about Brazen, you be, now you talking about Melissa, about the women, these folks be watching. You just, listen, just don't be kidding. Listen, I love, listen, I love me, my, I love me so Melissa Jefferson. I love Melissa Jefferson. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about my baby girl. I love Melissa Jefferson. Hey. <laughs> Yo, your Look, mic sounds really good now, man. Yeah, you should have been like this the whole time. Yo, listen, shut up. I had my <laughs> <This is> crisp. <laughs> Oh, shut up. I have my pizza. This is oh, no. super you crisp. You ain't got the beef that against your character in the parent. You got the wrong one, baby. You ain't got the one she got. Yeah. It didn't work at all. Hey, right, Colin. Yeah. 702. More impressive than 698 or 698 more impressive than 702? You're talking about Julian Alfred's 702? Yep. I'm talking about the run. Not the time. <clears throat> the run. By the athlete. Um. Damn. Uh. I mean, the, the the video of the Julian Alfred race wasn't as, like, it wasn't as clean. So I couldn't, it's hard to sell, to tell form. And to be honest, like, 
I'll be the first person to admit, I don't know track form very well. Uh, I know pole vaulting form. I've, I sprinted a little bit in high school, but I can't judge sprinting form too well. So I don't want to, I don't want to go there because y'all would eat me up on that. I, I, I'm not an expert, but what I will say, I, I'll go on the time. Like I think her running 702 this early in the season is, is fantastic for, for her. Um, shows that she could be the first collegiate under seven seconds. It's, it's a definite possibility. Um, mm. I, I could see it. I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed by, by Julian Alfred. I like how she's continued her success and it wasn't like a, a one year wonder thing. She's, she's legitimately, she's legitimately good. And mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That part, I was shocked um, because, you know, being biased, I, I didn't expect her to be able to come back and repeat off the season she had last year. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect her to be able to come back this soon and be this good, this ready, this early. I, I did. I did. So I was thoroughly impressed by her coming out there and running 702. Like, if you had told me that she ran and she had ran like, you know, 72, 73, I would have I'd expected that, you know, based on her season last year, like how how she went from indoor to outdoor, you know, like, all right, well, you know, she might be a little rested, but no, she came out snapping again, again, again. Same question to you too, because I got another question I want to get to answer, another collegiate question. I got three more, actually. Ooh. They was done, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Which was... one? Did y'all see oh, Julian I'm going... Alfred? So I'm, I'm, I, I don't think anyone compares to Aaliyah right now. Uh, Julian Alfred looked good, but to be honest, I thought she looked good last year too. And I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of her mechanics, and that's not necessarily on her. Um, I just feel like she, her, her phases aren't really existent to me. They're not as they're not as um, they're not as clear. I feel like they need to more be more pronounced as her career goes on. She's still young, so it doesn't matter for her to run that fast, this raw. I think is impressive, but technically, I don't. The way she runs a sixty doesn't make me confident about her hundred. When I see a good 60 meter runner, no, it doesn't. When I see a 60, my I'm more, I'm most impressed with 60s that help me or that make me excited about what they're going to run in the hundred. Do you I, know I what she ran in the hundred last year? No, it was not eighty two. She was undefeated last year. Yeah. Well, did she run ten eighty two? Uh, let me see what she ran. She ran something crazy. Um. What she ran in season with? Last year she ran 1081. Oh. So 10 and then 1080 windy. Um, yeah. about 1081. Ooh. That's fast. Yeah. yeah it is yeah. fast. Remember she won the season last year. Yeah. It's fast. She undefeated the entire for every race she did last mm-hmm. season. It's it's fast. But yeah. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't mechanics wise. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it, her style will have longevity. No, no. Only time, only time, only time will tell. But I, 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 I watch one day practice joints, and I'm, I'm holding her at a high standard right now because we're comparing her to Aaliyah. Remember that. Okay. So it's, this is right. not shitting on her. It, obviously, she does a, a lot of things very, 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 very well. So uh, this is just we're nitpicking now, right now, because it's, we're comparing two people who are running very, very fast. They're both amazing athletes, but. Aaliyah personally, would have the edge as far as I'm concerned. I personally think that with her being in year two with Flo, she's a year stronger, she's a year wiser, she's a year more craftier. I think she's going to do really well. Now, look, I'm not going to disrespect she carries collegiate record. I'm not going to do that. But the NCAA championship is at her house on her track. <clears throat> you don't think she can go 10-6? Dude, okay, all right, okay. I didn't ask a question. I mean, she went today. It ain't that far. It's the thing she went today. Right. Track and field's been around for eons. There's only been a handful of women who ran under 1070, bro. We're just not going to hand out 10-6 like Skittles, man. Will she break your carriage record? If it it was going to happen. It's at her her house. 
Colin. Yeah, so, it, it would happen at her home school. It, 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 which the last you think time she NCAA was there, it was it was one of the best NCAA championships we've ever seen, hands down, hands down. So, <laughs> so Colin, you know what? If I had to gamble, I would probably say, yeah, she can she can threaten it. I said she could threaten it because it's at her place. The meat's at her place. Yo, hey, look, Lamont, take a, look, take a stance, women. man. Is she going to do it or not? Don't say threat. She threatened it already. No, I'm not going to disrespect that 1075. That 1075 was something. You disrespect else. Shakari all the time. What? I'm, I'm, you're, I'm confused. Why are you being so nice right now? Wow, Why wow. are you being so nice? I, 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 hold on. I disrespect Shakari. No, I disrespect the nonsense that she does. We don't disrespect her saying, talent. There's no hesitation. When, no, no, we don't disrespect her talent. That. We disrespect the choices that she yeah. makes that overshadows her yeah. talent. It's a difference. I'm a... Thank you. I'm beyond rich, man. I don't, I don't, even though it's at her house, I take that back. Because it's at her house. <laughs> hey, you know that Texas wind? You yeah. Know how that wind? <laughs> Before I even was, I had to, you know? I had to stop mid-sentence. <laughs> Well, then again, because that set, that, that set, Shakira was moving. Like, whatever, however you want to call it, whatever, you know, I like to say the track, win, whatever. She's moving. Like, when she hit that 60 to 100, she hit another gear that was like, damn, where did that come from? So, when I, I'm be like, oh, I'm not going to disrespect Shakira's 10 7 because I remember watching that and I remember her the last 30 find a whole nother gear to power and live through the line. Okay, shit. All right. <laughs> like, so in order for you to hit that, it gonna have to look a certain way for you to even hit that. Can Julian? Can she do it? Oh, I mean, that, when I visualize it, nah, visualization gonna give me seven to nine at best. Give me seven to nine at best. Seven to seven, seven to five. Even at home, you are gonna get the striking, and I just don't think that she got that second half strength. That you're gonna need to do that. Yeah. Ray, I got about I got about 10 minutes and I gotta I gotta actually head on out. I forgot I, I forgot I got something to yeah. I forgot to do something. Uh, I got one more topic for about 10 minutes before I gotta get going. Okay, well that one more topic needs to be uh Britton Wilson and Masai Russell then. Britton Wilson, 600 meter record, 125. <sighs> Break that break those numbers down for this is time. so I've I mentioned this um like in our group in our like group chat thing and I I stand I still stand by this that there's the quote um I wish you I wish I knew it was the good times before I left them. Uh, I think Harold Harold Fleming said that, but that's what we're at right now, where this is the good times for the women's 60 meter hurdles. These are three of the best. 60 meter hur hurdle runners in like in NCAA history that are running right now, three of the best. Uh, and with Grace Stark, Aaliyah Armstrong and Masai Russell. And so this NCAA championship is going to be the craziest 60 meter hurdle in NCAA championship, or definitely could be uh, that we've ever seen. Cause it's the three, three best that we've that, that ever them plus Brianna Rollins. So that that race is going to be crazy. I'm 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 really looking forward to to seeing them race. I need to I need to call Coach Holloway to find out what's going on with Grace Starks because I don't think she opened up yet. She hasn't ran yet. No. Yeah, yo, she messed that ankle up really bad, yo. Like really bad. Yeah, that fall was crazy. <laughs> what fall? Uh, <clears throat> fell on a hurdle and like broke her ankle. Damn. SEC's outdoor. Oh shit! That's a, don't worry. I'm sorry, y'all. That's the medication. I told y'all I had the flu. It's kicking in now. Go ahead. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, y'all didn't like see the whole show. I've been sitting here sweating. Boy, I got a fever like 103 right now. But I had to come on on here and argue anyway. I'm gonna die as soon as I hit in. Y'all get me in the hospital. <laughs> but but honestly, uh, honestly, I, I'm 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 with Colin. This might be, this might be the this might be the greatest 60 meter hurdle race if all the girls make it through i don't know what's going on with grace like i said i'm gonna find out did Aaliyah open up yet Aaliyah hasn't opened up yet has she uh Aaliyah did did she do the open 60 i think she did something like some off race okay um let me take a look though 
I don't think she ran a 60 hurdles yet. Um, I love women. Her. Oh, man. Aaliyah Armstrong. Yes, she did 260s. So she did a – she ran 643, 743. So nothing too – Colin, before you go, yeah. New Balance 60 men's. Who wins? New Who's Balance? Crazy? Yeah. Yo, I am so excited. So I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at New Balance. I just got, if Trayvon's still watching this, I actually just ordered a new pair of New Balance shoes that I'm going to be pulling up in as well. Um, like they, I, it, Trey, if you got a, if you got a, a discount code, you need to give that to me. I'll be, I'll be giving New Balance all my money now. Um, but uh, I think Trayvon wins because if I was – Trayvon Bramell. Because you need those not, shoes. That's why. No, no this is why. It, it has to do with it being New Balance. I think if I was Trayvon Bramell, I am not letting somebody else that is not a New Balance athlete set the facility record on my track. I would, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't let that happen. Uh, I sure as hell wouldn't let my, my friend and teammate Marv do it because he's going to talk all the shit to me until it's New Balance next year. And then I'm sure as hell not going to let, I wouldn't let Noah Lyles Put that on me because he's like, oh, this guy's a primary 200 meter runner. Uh, and I wouldn't want to let um, Ronnie Coleman put it on me, someone who didn't run last year. Ronnie so Coleman. Like, is he running? Who's Ronnie Baker, Coleman? Baker. Baker. Sorry, Baker, Ronnie Baker. Baker. I'm, I'm, I miss Christian Coleman. You, oh, you talk about Coleman. Ronnie Coleman's the, the, the bodybuilder. I, I, I heard that what, name was both, but I don't think it's a trick. Yeah. So I'm not, if I were, I'm if, not I was, uh, if I was, um, Trayvon, I would probably be going pretty, making sure that I'm dialed in for this race because uh, this is going to be his only indoor race. So it's like, I might as well, you know, I might as well because I want to make sure I get this facility record. My name's in the banners all there and then I can go to outdoor. So that's Who why. Who is the women? Who's racing the women? I, I didn't Leah. even see. Yeah, Oh, yeah. Sydney McLaughlin is. Sydney, Sharika, Melissa Jefferson. Those are your four heavy hitters. Um, sounds like Melissa probably would. Oh, well, Aaliyah? Um, oh, shoot. You did say Aaliyah's in there? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, I mean, Aaliyah would be the favorite right now, right? Uh, obviously, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Can you, can you, can you run it back? The second, that second, that second race a week later. <laughs> can you run it exactly. Yeah. <sighs> That's 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 exactly that's that part. <laughs> can you six days do later? Can you go do that again? One thing. That's what you're gonna need to do again. It did look comfortable though. It did so look easy. Is she might she might just be like that right now. Possibly she might just be like that. All right, I last think question. That, I think that, then you gotta get out of here. See mm-hmm. it. Did she go under seven two or above seven two? That's a great question. That is an excellent question. What is her PR? What is what is I think somebody said has, seven one. I think I, I don't I don't even know. Let's there was see. nothing on the uh there was, there was nothing, nothing on the athletics. athletics. No. Because she's never been the hundred I don't think open sixty. It's high school. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, no sixty, no sixties in yeah, as a okay, yeah. college or pro. She's only ran the open hundred in twenty eighteen with plus three win at eleven oh seven. Yeah. Uh you said seven two, like seven two oh being the line. Yeah. I think she goes faster than that. Like what other athletes have ran? I'm wondering what other like pro like yeah, where would that put her right now in the women's that delusion again? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, that, that put her again. leading at the tape with Elaine, yo. That uh, would put her leading at the tape. <laughs> it would say she's about as fast as Brittany Brown. Do you think she's about as fast as Brittany Brown? Brittany Brown's fast, yo. Sydney, Sydney is going to run. Sydney's going to run. Sydney's going to run seven four four. I don't know about that. Damn. Nah, she nah. she she she'll be it'll be seven. Okay. It'll be seven. It'll be twenty something. I got it. Twenty twenty one. Twenty. I got between seven twenty one and seven twenty four. Oh really? Yeah. I got it. I got her. I got her mid to high seven twos. Yeah, I got I got it between twenty one on a good day, twenty four. She's gonna hit seven two, but not faster than seven two. I, I don't got thirty seven to seven forty four. So we got a seven one, <laughs> a seven four, and and two seven twos. 
737 to 744. Then you said 737 to 744. 737. That's 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 disrespectful. But I mean, I don't think she would put up like she wouldn't do the 60 if she was going to put up a time like that. See, that's a good point. She would run the 500 or the 600. And New Balance. Yeah, she she, she has got to New Balance. I've seen her go to New Balance and not run well, though. Like, I don't think I think she's I don't think she cares. I'm giving her seven two because I'm giving the winner seven oh. The what the winners like I, I think she's gonna finish like fourth or fifth somewhere back there. The race is gonna be a seven oh race. So I'm giving her a seven two, they're gonna pull her to a seven two. Gotcha. But I'm not well, giving her I'm never I'm not picturing her in the race at all. I gotta get going, guys. I right, will right, brother. I'll be tuned in watching probably for a little bit, but I gotta I gotta head on out. So uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead. We ain't got too much longer left. I'll see you. Adios, guys. <laughs> All right, brother. So, same question. Who wins for the, who wins the guys? I'm going with Trey. Even though I don't like Trayvon right now because he was clowning me in the in the chat with my with my ear pieces. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got Trey. I got Trey. I got Trey too, but it's gonna be a fight. Yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be a fight. I, the home court advantage, I feel like, is going to be a factor. And I feel like, um, I don't know, he's got a, he just sounds, he, he sounds like this is important. I'm not saying that he's putting emphasis on indoors, but when I hear him talk about it, it sounds like it means something to him. And I, th- I think that that's a factor. Uh, not that it doesn't mean anything to Marv, but I feel like I just feel like it sounds like it means more to Trey right now. Um, no world does no allows no, he doesn't. He doesn't. But but I wasn't no way, I wasn't that taken back by his loss. I feel like he's not gonna get annihilated. He's not gonna get annihilated. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna. You know I don't think he's gonna get cursed. But nah, I think now if it wasn't it, if it wasn't at New Balance and it was the same lineup, it'd be a different discussion. A different discussion. A different discussion. But it is at New Balance. So, because train, it's at what you New got? Balance. Yo. Because it's at New Balance. Because it's at New Balance. Medicine kicking in for sure. Because of that new balance, I'm gonna give it to Trey. I'm only giving it to him because of that new balance, though. If it wasn't that new balance, I went, I wouldn't give it to him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like here. Because again, you gotta you gotta show a little bit of respect to Mar. You gotta show a little bit of respect to Noah. To where you can't just hand it to somebody and be like, here it is. But because it's new balance for every reason y'all are saying. I can hand it to him. Like, yeah, that's a lot of extra stuff in the pot. Like, I got kind of like Christian Coleman last year when he ran at Mill Rose. He had to win that. He had to beat Trayvon. Like, you can't lose that race. I see this the same way. Trayvon has to win. He can't lose this race. And most of the time, when you put in that position, you're going to win. So that's why I'm giving to him because, like I said, he has to win. <sighs> yeah. But. It's track, so we don't know. It is definitely track, so we do not know. You know, what we what could really happen? What I would love to happen? I tell y'all right now, what I would love to happen? I would love to wake up and then watch the track meet and see it win and know it win. That's what I'd love to happen. You know why? Because they would give me so much shit to talk about. <laughs> imagine that, Sydney. Imagine Sydney happen? won. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. But can you imagine how the track world would be if we woke up Sunday morning and Sid was the winner of the New Balance 60 meter dash? Listen, if she'd Sid be the new win- Fred Curley. She'd be like the if, female version of Fred. If Sid wins the 60, Bobby Kersey is officially the mad scientist. No, he's officially the greatest of all time. <laughs> ain't no no more debate. Ain't no doubt. Ain't no debate. Sid, come out here winning 60. You're, you're number one, sir. Because there's no way that should happen. There's no way that should happen. No way. No way that should happen at all. But if it did, 
Ooh, if it did. Oh, oh what if she didn't even win it, but she came and shocked everybody and went like 7-0 and got like second or close third. Yeah. But I think, I think, I think, I think Aaliyah's going to win, but I, I feel like Melissa, Melissa's going to make up for her first race. And she's, Aaliyah's going to have to run. She's going to have to run. I feel like Melissa's going to be on her. And I wouldn't be surprised if Melissa won, but just with how Aaliyah looked last week, it's hard to bet against that. It's hard. I think if she comes back and duplicate what she did, she should win. We haven't actually seen what Melissa can do. You know, she did a little, the little booty poop meet up there the first round, ran seven two, and then do nothing else. Like I just want to, you know, get 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 the cobwebs out of the dust off. So we don't really know what the hell she's gonna do. Nor can we neglect the fact of what she's done last year. I mean, we got to talk about her the same way we got to talk about Julian Alfred. I mean, so I think this race would be a damn good race. I personally think it's going to come down between – it's going to come down between them two. I don't think Sharika's going to – okay, here's mine. It's them two, Sharika, and then at fourth. Um, see it at fourth. Aaliyah, Aaliyah MJ for one and two. Sharika third, see it for You got Cindy yeah. McLaughlin getting fourth. I got to get in fourth, man. I know. I know. I know. I know, sir. I know. I got to get in fourth, Jack. Well, man, let me say it right. Let me say it right. I got Bob Kirsten coaching getting fourth. <laughs> That's what I got. I ain't talking about seeing it last year. Oh, you said it in the way that you would like it, Lamont. I got Bob Kirsten getting fourth. Like Bob Kirsten's coaching. That's why I'm giving four. I'm not. She ain't gonna go in there and say go to the place. She ain't gonna do that. She definitely ain't gonna do that. And then yeah. you know they're gonna give her a decent lane to where she she ain't gonna stand up the place. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Whoa, Briscoe's in the race. Oh, Briscoe in the race. Yeah. Okay, well I flip it then. My bad. Feel for see it. I ain't gonna disrespect Briscoe like that. Hell no. Nah. Nah, yeah. I didn't know she was in the race. No, hell no. Nah, no. Me neither. I didn't Hold know. Hold down. <laughs> Hold yeah. on back a little bit. Nah, you can't get forty nine. You gonna have to yeah, get filled. You, 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 yeah. you, you gonna have to get filled. You gonna have to get filled. All right, y'all. We don't reach that two hour mark, and we actually got everything covered that we were supposed to get covered today. I was right Respect. about everything per usual. It always happens, you know. Yo, made, so what time is it over there, man? Even made Coach go put on a basket over his head. You know, for bed. You know, it's just it, wow. even though, even though, just because you don't understand my rightness, don't mean I'm wrong. What does that even mean? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yo, what are you talking about? Exactly. Exactly. That means I'm always right. I'm always right. Uh, don't y'all forget it. Always. <laughs> Even when I sound like I'm not right, I'm right. Because there's always something right in what I'm saying. Yo, can I say something before you sign off? <laughs> Look it. I just put this uh <clears throat> A lot of people have been asking me about the spring culture lives, that I was only restricting it to lives and not doing anything with it. But now I'm, I'm, I'm producing them down into like some smaller packages, like eight minutes. So I posted the first one today. So Ray, it's not yours yet, Ray. Yours is going to be the next one. No, no, the, the one you were on, which is really funny. That's not going to be the next one. It'll be the third one. But the first one that we did posted today, you know what I'm saying? I like how they came out, you know? So any, any of y'all go check that out. Spring Culture uh, Volume 1 is on my YouTube channel, Unconventional Entertainment Group. The YouTube um, channel you should be following and subscribe to. Respect. And uh, yeah, man, y'all go check that out, man. It was, it's, I'm liking, I'm liking a lot of the, I'm seeing all the shows blossoming right now. This is like a good time in, in track and field content. And I, I feel like what you got going on, what I got going on, what Lamaga going on, 
Kong got going on, what Tierra got going on. Like, there's, there's some people making some moves as far as getting the, the essence of the sport out there. So we just got to keep on, keep on pushing, man. So go ahead and check out Spring Culture Volume 1. A lot of y'all been asking me about, why you ain't posting the whole thing? I'm not posting the whole thing. But, I mean, it's still a good chunk of the majority of what was discussed. And, yeah, man. Go ahead and check that out, man. The key points. Make sure y'all do that. I feel like everybody already is, but make sure y'all already doing that. Coach, talk Respect. to him. Hey, hold on, Coach. You know what? <clears throat> Somebody had WhatsApp me. Somebody had WhatsApp me <laughs> and asked me, what, um, what school you coach at? And I forgot 10 times when they kept asking me. So could you tell these people what school you coach at? I'm at Oakland University in Rochester, Michigan. There it is. There it is. Now he just told y'all where he at. Now you ain't got to text me no more and ask me. And they ask me, did you ask him just for me to remind that I got like, at ADD? He just told y'all where he coach at. I don't know if they're interested in, in talking to you for some athletes, coach, or what, or their fans. I don't know. This is just what they happened on the show. But yeah, somebody reached out and was like, man, what school coach at? So I was like, you know, I don't damn know. He told me, but I forgot. I think he's Colorado State. So I was very wrong. Hey, <laughs> 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 wrong coach. See, I mean, it's, yeah, you know, Coach Brown, Coach Brown, whatever he had, Colorado State. I think he up there with, with Dion. I don't know. Shit. It's cold wherever he at. I thought, but he said he in Oakland. I, mean, I thought you was in the mountains. No, I was out there for our coaches' convention, man, back in uh, December, man. It was in Colorado. Uh, see, I ain't crazy. I knew you was in Colorado and some coaching shit was going on. I just put it together wrong. Like, you yeah. see, yeah. I ain't that damn sick. Yeah, we shit. was up there, man. We was up there. It was dope, man. Went up to Boulder, ran into Shannon Sharp. Went that the that, uh, podcast that they saw with him and Dion. We actually pulled into the parking lot, and Shannon Sharp pulled in with – uh, security entourage, I'm talking about armed forces, bro. It was crazy, <laughs> and it was dope, man. It was dope. Like, what was what what Coach Prime got going on up there, man? He got that whole place energized, man. So it's pretty dope. That's it's pretty dope. That's tell tell them where they can find you at when when you ain't at school, Coach. Listen, y'all can find me on Twitter, Part Four. You can find me on IG, uh, Coach underscore seven one eight. Now look, man. If I don't know you and you ain't got no friends connected to me, I'm not going to add you, bro. Okay, let's be clear. Okay, <clears throat> not. All right, I don't like them bots on my page and y'all, no, mm-mm, y'all saw hacking people's page. My page got hacked already once before. So it ain't happening. But um, me and my boys, Hassan Stamps, Kyle Stevenson, David Pickett, we do another podcast every Wednesday, 8 o'clock on YouTube called Track Chat. So, you know, we talk about the more serious side of stuff and what can be changed with the sport and you know, just you know, just giving life lessons and sharing some of our journeys, and you see a completely different side of us, man. So, it's um, it's a pretty dope thing. But go, but seriously, Anson puts in a lot of work with his podcast, a lot of production. He like he takes it serious, man. Go support his, go support his channel, and just support all of us, man. So we can get this thing out, so we can get invited to some of the big meets, and we can give y'all the coverage that y'all really want. The stuff that y'all really, really, truly want. Because we for the people. Now, I already know Sha'Carri ain't going to talk to me. It's okay. You know, she blocked me. But she'll talk to Ray and T. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, um, let's uh, let's support each other, man. Let's support Ray's sake. Because Ray is doing something big. And we can't say what it is. But it's about to get coming together nicely. And uh, shout out to our sister T, man. You know what I'm saying? She's in the Armory. So anybody who goes to the Armory to go watch track and field, make sure y'all stop by. Y'all go see her and show her some love and show her some support, man. And shout out to all Respect. of y'all people out there who be putting up with us, you know, because one thing for certain, two things for sure. Y'all only get to see us one, you know, a week or, you know, sporadically. And, and Y'all don't actually know how we are. And I'm going to say this for a reason because there was people on Twitter coming back about me and Lele going back and forth. Y'all, what we do is just that. It's entertainment, okay? When we come in front of y'all and do a lot of this stuff, we've we've actually got good at being actors, okay? To make sure that we can give y'all the entertainment value of the show. 
So when we be saying don't be on Twitter beefing with each other because you don't know each other, we're saying it because that's real. You don't know each other. So even when you see us on Twitter going back and forth, understand that it's not going to ever be from a malice standpoint to where, ooh, he said, they said it. We all got each other phone numbers. <laughs> like, like, for real. We all talk outside of this. So don't ever think that we take this up any further than us debating and going back and forth. Outside of that, that is where it stops at, people. <laughs> trust us. It stops there. Oh, and shout out to all the people, especially the people that was at the University of Louisville, which is a fantastic facility, by the way, fantastic facility, who stopped me and said that they appreciate the podcast and they gave you a shout out, Ray, and they gave my guys a shout out as well. So, Ray, you're touching people, man. Like, really people. We, we, like people coming up to us and, and embracing us and say, man, we love what y'all doing. Keep up the good work. Y'all are comedy, but y'all give us something to look forward to every Monday. Everyone be tuning into Answers Live, even though you may not be able to see the numbers. People tune into your live, man. So, yeah, um, they be on it. Man. Yeah, they, 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 they be on it, man. They talk, they, 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 they yeah. talk about names. I'm talking about like real talk everywhere, every track we go to, man. Kids, <laughs> and things, coaches, and, and fans, and stuff like that, man. So, you know, let's keep up the good work, man. And shout out to all y'all who keep this going, man. You know what I'm saying? Ray put this together for y'all. Answer put this together for y'all. We put it together for, for y'all as well. So, let's keep it going, man. I'm gonna go take me some more medicine and I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna take my sick tail back to sleep. I oh, see all y'all people and, on and, the and, and follow track world news too, man. Follow Colin. Colin puts in some damn good work too. Man, Thank if you, you know, ain't following Colin, Colin by now, you stupid. <laughs> right. if you ain't as much as Colin make you please please leave a comment. If you ain't seen that shit by now, it's like <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. As always, we'll see y'all next Monday so we can talk about this new balance and what happened over the weekend. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Yeah, right. yeah, respect, y'all. Peace. All y'all people out there in, in, in land, go to bed. We out of here. <laughs>